Yeah. yeah. I think it would be a good idea. However, I don't know if there's any more creatures around. Probably set up shifts. I'll take the first watch. No, I want to. Scrumpo will take the first Whoa. watch. Nice. Oh, but I want it to. Too well, bad. All yours, the... Scrumpo. I'll be I over get... here. I get the longer uninterrupted sleep. Get fucked. Scrumpo, now this is your real big responsibility. Are you sure you can handle it? Look, out of everyone here, I think I'm most equipped to identify threats in this horrible place. Uh, I don't know. You know, it's, it's a big responsibility. You think you're... All right, give me a little kiss on the cheek for good luck then, big boy. Well, all right, you asked for it. No, I was just kidding. I was calling I leaned, I leaned out and I'm like, off. here I come. Here I come. Here comes the kissing train. Oh, God, Jesus. he doesn't have his mustache. His lips are huge. No. Uh, oh, my God. You asked are those for sores? <laughs> oh, God. Don't worry. I don't have cooties. <laughs> oh, but you're just a big softy, aren't you? Yeah, well, you got me. All a right. big, a big illiterate softy. <laughs> well, I'm a big softy, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm tired. I gotta lay read. down. I gotta I'll lay read. down. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta lay all right. down. Okay, all right. Watch time. Nothing gets past Scrumpo. Wake me up, Scrumpo, when you're done. I'll take the oh. second watch. Okay. Scrumpo stands like a statue, waiting. Bow drawn. No, it's not drawn. Bow in hand. <laughs> All right. The party uh, sets up shop to sleep. Sleep shop. <laughs> the guy, are you like on top of the forge? <laughs> no, no, the forge was melted, and I assume Shut he up. slept there for like an eon, so it's probably good enough for me. All right. All right, Scrumpo, as you have taken first watch, I need you to make me a perception check. Easily done. Hang on. Not quite so easily done. <laughs> Hang on. Do you need ownership? No, you got ownership. No, no, I, I thought I had uh, advantage on this kind of roll, but I don't. I think that was because just because I was looking at a feat that would have given me advantage and I'm just misremembering. So hang on. <clears throat> OK, I'm going. Pew. All right. Scrumpo stands watch, his eyes gazing all around him. And as he activates his powerful gaze, you're able to notice something. Some of the sifting snowflakes that kind of foil their way through the air seem to be blown by an unfelt wind towards the northeast. Uh... It is a subtle suggestion of this wind that you cannot feel, but it is obvious enough that you can see that all of the snowflakes seem to be following this ephemeral tug. Is it behind a car? It seems that the snowflakes continue beyond a car's current position, and I'll go ahead and zoom you out pretty far here, but there okay. is a large focus of them right in here. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Also, I really like this map. Yeah. It's a cool map. Scrumpo uh, watches, but doesn't do anything. <laughs> All right. A couple of hours pass, and it is time to wake the next person on watch. Scrumpo wakes Big Tree. Hey, get up. It's your turn. Oh, uh, what? what? There's, what? There's, a, there's like, there's something sucking snowflakes to the northeast. Be careful. Make sure you let us know if it's going to suck our souls or something. Uh, uh, all right. Okay, be careful. Uh, Scrippo. <laughs> Scrippo walks away. I'm sorry, waddles away. I'm still just, very drowsy from waking up. I just imagine Scrumpo like walks away after telling him that and then just falls face first on the ground and goes, <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Sleep time. Sleep time. He says, Sleep time. In, he says into the ground. Sleep <laughs> time. <laughs> I open both my eyes. With both eyes my, open. I'm, I'm ready. Make me a perception check. Both eyes kind of open. Well, because you have both eyes open, your perception's a little better than Scrumpo's. However, you see only the same thing that I have described previously. The swirling snowflakes that seem to be tugged and drawn towards the northeast. Hmm. Well, 
that's all I do for my watch. I'm not going to abandon to go check that out. All right. <laughs> but I will want to go check that out. That's a nice beehive you have there, Arcadum. I will not be fisting it. Okay. <laughs> Next we have, uh, who do you, uh, okay, the end of your watch comes up. Whom would you like to awaken? Well, we didn't really discuss on who was going to be the next watch, so, uh... Bird dude! Bird! Dead. Ow. What? Who's yelling? What the, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go! Alright! Fine! Ikar, uh, Ikar kind of like hovers in like a circle. Hey, it's your turn. Around this area, just right. kind of like, hey. Right, I, I've got it. it looks like um, you're doing like backstrokes in the yeah. air. <laughs> yeah. All right, good night. Sleep well. All right. Perception check for you, Akar. You don't notice anything about the snowflakes. Probably because you're too busy doing sweet loop de loops. <laughs> nice. None of them seen you do it though. Dang. That Lame. one was really nice. Oh, dude, you're totally nailing this kickflip. But two hours pass and your watch is done. Now for the final one. Psst. Psst. And what? It's your <laughs> turn. What are you talking about? I went before Big Pipe. Shit. Um. Good night. <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, 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 okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, wait. Uh, um. Huck feels his upper lip, and no muscles. Huck ought to be grown back by this time. How long does this take? Uh. Okay. <laughs> He'll uh. Uh, he will, I guess, be on watch then. Thank you. All right, give me some perception. I'll do that for you. Skill check perception. Nah. <laughs> Slightly better. Ah. Your eyes see even sharper than the previous two. And you see only what I have described previous. But okay. the rest does. So oh, go ahead. Uh uh, so is the the snowflakes are being pulled towards that direction is what I see? Yes, it's uh, almost like a wind is blowing them there, but you can't feel oh. it. So it's a blow, not a suck. Well, you can't <laughs> feel it, so you you don't know. Oh, oh. but I just know they're traveling that direction. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, well, that's neat. Cool. And thus, your watch comes to an end. The party receives the benefit of a long rest. Aha! Ronnie awakens. Nice. Ooh, is that double strength? I see. Yeah, but that just means I have to pick strength. <laughs> also, this is exactly what happened last time I rolled this. Feels bad. There's an anomaly. Well, once again, Scrumple awakens veiny and vascular. Up, 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 up. Guy awakens well rested and energetic. Ooh, ready to go in that uh triangle building. <laughs> hey, there's gonna be an easier way to say that, but unfortunately there isn't. So uh, <laughs> let's check it out. Never it's seen pyramid. one before. Scrumpo. Hey. Why do you why do your muscles grow every time we rest? <laughs> Ronnie will lick the new muscles. Ancient Svirfneblin magic. I Interesting. Think it, it looks also looking the, great. No, what I do is I actually uh, I've, tra I've trained myself to tense my muscles as I sleep every five seconds. Does that really work? Uh, yeah, for me it does. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's that's a pressure. I'm I'm a fresh. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. I know you can do that. I was gonna but ask so, for a roll, but all right. <laughs> Huh? If I, huh? Listen, if, if, if it looks like I'm seizing, don't worry about it. I'm just training in my sleep. Um, <laughs> Huck, Huck tries it. He like tenses his arms and then relaxes <laughs> them and then tenses them. He's like, oh, this is a good workout. You were kidding. Yeah, I know. 
<sighs> but you'll never be as ripped as me. <laughs> well, maybe someday, but uh, not today. Nah, I'm just kidding. You're pretty ripped. I mean, you're like half horse. Oh, by the way, quick question. Yeah. What if you, like, don't you poop like a horse? <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> I mean, where does you, where does anybody's poop go? I sneak off to poop, okay. so no one can see. I mean, I thought you just did it in that diaper. I just thought, you know, you changed it every so often. Put a little talcum powder on there, you know. No, I can't do. poop. This is ancient. This is ceremonial garb. All right, okay. it's okay, sacred. Right. It's not a diaper. It's, it's a fudoshi. Mag magic diaper. I get it. Okay. Fine. Do, do you do it when you walk? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, somebody gonna stop me? No. Look, man, I'm all for pooping all over this place. <laughs> Alright, enough poop talk! God damn it, Huckleberry! Let's check out that triangular building. I'm feeling good. Before I'm feeling we, good about this. Before we go and check out the triangle, though, there's, there's something with the snowflakes. Yeah! yeah. Whoa. That's wait, what wait. It's like Maybe sucking it's... it in. Maybe it's not Somewhere a triangle building. Perhaps it's a roof. Or maybe it's a normal building. God. S resurface to consume all of us. No, I'd it's like a large check building. It out before we take adventure into the actual pyramid, but all right. Look before, before we what? go any further, Hawk. Oh yeah, yeah. Watch up. Snap my fingers and I create a minor illusion where your mustache oh. used to be. <laughs> It's a, it's a very appreciated gesture, partner. I, I tip my hat and I, I sort of like wistfully touch my upper lip. Your fingers go through the mustache. But it's just not the same. But it's not the same. But you don't but feel don't... as vulnerable. Yes, I feel a little more confident, powerful. Thank you. You know, I do appreciate that. No problem. Things, some things just can't be healed with magic, but it does make me feel better. Um, All right, cool. Speaking of magic and feeling better, let's go walk into the ice death. Okay, would I you have like a feeling we want to feel better. Yeah, but yeah. this is a group. All right, all right, all right. I think we're gonna. Are we? Are we checking out the where the snowflakes are going, or are we going into the ice snowflakes? The, yeah. the place the big tree suggested. Yeah. Big yeah, pipe. Yeah, yeah. Big dick. Yeah, we're gonna go there, and there's gonna be a bunch of Democrats. Get it? God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> No, I don't get it. Explain. Plugging snowflakes. Oh. <laughs> what about our emails? <laughs> I saw. Right. I saw. I saw a Vietnam vet when I went to get coffee today, driving a Prius, and on the back of his thing it had a Trump 2020 sticker that said "Make liberals cry again." <laughs> and then he had the Vietnam sticker right next to it. I I said I was behind a Prius in a drive-through, and it had a bumper sticker that said "Nice Prius" in quotes, and underneath it said "No one." <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of self-aware <laughs> I know, I was like, at least you're in on it, man Alright, eventually Your travels across the frozen river Beneath your feet Uh, oh, hold on I left one of you there Is it me? No, got that. no it's me All right. Get on <laughs> It's me Eventually, you make your way to Man, this map is so cool Eventually, you make your way to here. All right, so let me let me describe this. So you walk underneath a um, a sort of sculpted icy archway, which seems to not be uh, a part of the phenomenon, but actually meant to look that way. And you're currently walking on a frozen river that pours into a serene looking pool of water, which is not frozen. The pool of water is framed by a white marble half crescent almost seeming as if it represents the moon and there are what appears to be marble steps in the midst of the water but beneath it there is also something in the back that you can't quite see a uh, back where like back here or like back back, in... back back in here which is which is underneath this roof so let me let, me, let me try it this way so this mm. is water the steps okay. are beneath the water this is the roof and where where you can't see back here but on top of these steps, but still under the water, something sits on top of them, but it's dark and you can't quite see back there. Hmm. There seems to be something inside the water. Anybody a good swimmer? It's cool. Uh, well, Not really known for swimming. Well, well, that answers that question. 
I've I never could... seen. I've never. I don't think a centaur could do that well either. Uh, well, I, I can. I can. I can doggy paddle, although it's not really what we call it. <laughs> no, you can't. You're gonna not die. even a dog. Well, it's called horseshoe paddling. It's I've never heard of this. Ship. That we, we have a different name for it. Uh, I mean, let's make, let's make Ronnie do it. Why not just send send Guy? Excited <sighs> bark. Yeah, let's drown the dog. He's a vampire, so you you like the cold, right? I mean, it's all right. I mean, I mean are you gonna all make me do it? <laughs> I mean, you can just maybe dip your toe in. And just like I will make you do it. <laughs> is, I follow sorry. behind him. I start. I sort of missed. Is is the water melted or is it frozen? Uh, it's frozen up to here, and then this is actual water. It's actual water. You are okay, standing in it right now. You come back over oh, here. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't right, that. right here is where it actually turns to actual water, and right about here, you notice that it, it's a little shallow. But when you get to about here, it gets very deep, and it's mm -hmm. at this point you realize how large the marble steps are and how deep the water actually is. The water is clear enough that you're able to gauge it somewhat. Uh, it's something along the lines of 40 feet deep. You know, Whoa. I have a idea here, real quick. All right, hit me. Fire um, away. Just grab rope real fast. Ooh, we got lots of that. I yeah. got rope. Uh, I quickly go ahead and tie the rope together yeah. and give um, Guy the rope, tie it around like his wrist, or I guess waist, my waist. Mm -hmm. And then I mentioned, uh, I mentioned Huck to follow me over here. Okay. And we'll hold the rope. So if anything happens, if anything happens, we can pull you back up to safety. What if we go on the roof and then we bungee jump down and I like a stealth agent grab it? Oh, that That's sounds, weird. that sounds fun. That sounds That's terrible. Let's weird. do it. I love it. It's rope. It'll kill you. <laughs> It'll tear you in half. It's well, not okay. elastic. Well, I mean, okay, I'm not going to but question. <laughs> not literally. Uh, Arcadum, how how far is the roof to the actual water? I'm sorry. It's not <laughs> elastic. It's 30 <laughs> feet. I mean, at that, <laughs> you won't have to worry about the rope snapping you in half. You'll be fine. Let me It'll just let break me. your spine. What if I split? Let me, here, let me pr present something. What if we split the difference? What if we lower you down into? Yeah, yes, yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, I thought you meant like jump off. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me, let me, let me test the water. I'll, I'll put a toe in the water first to make sure it's not going to kill cold, me. Cold, cold, very him. cold. <laughs> but no, it does oh. not kill you. Damn it. Instant death, you freeze. You die. How, how is this not ice? This is bullshit. I don't know. Get, well, get it. Lord of the flowing water. This is water that is flowing. Get it. Clearly, this is religious significance. Uh, are, uh, can we walk up the sides here, or is it yeah, like it's a ramp? Steep. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a ramp. ramp. Okay, got it. That makes sense. Okay. All right. We'll we'll try not to drop you. Uh, if I sing, that means pull me up. Ronnie <laughs> starts to lick okay, a car. The car gives him a, a little scratch, and then just sort of flies up. Okay. Ronnie will wait here. He wishes he had a snack. All right. He gets no snacks. No snacks. I don't think we have any snacks. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. <laughs> All right. So you tie Guy to a rope. <laughs> you hold the rope and you lower him down into the water. Is that yeah. what's happening right now? That yeah. is exactly what is happening. All right, you are now on the surface of the water. How much rope did the two of you have? I have, uh, hang on, I'm looking at it right now. We think we had 100 feet each. Yeah, right? I, I'll have the adventurer's right. pack, right? Yeah. I, I, had, I had a burglar's pack as well to start on top of the inventor shooters pack that we had, so. I will say that we used about 200, at least 200 feet of rope. As you wish. All right, Guy, you have been lowered down to the surface of the water. Would you like to swim down? Don't be a bitch. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was muted. The object is under the water. It is still under the water, yes, and it's atop these marble, stair uh, marble stairs. 
Uh, well, okay. Well, if I don't do it now, everyone's gonna make fun of me, so I go for it. <laughs> All right, Drew. That's the you best reason for doing anything. You start to swim straight down. Thankfully, because the object is placed atop the white marble steps, it's not the full 40 feet down. In fact, you only swim down about 10 feet. But that is still enough to drown in. So make me an athletics check. <laughs> Imagine drowning in 10 feet of water. Can I? Oh. I don't have to. I have killed so many players with water, dude. <laughs> you have no idea. It has got my highest kill count. Can I acrobatics or is this athletics? This has to be athletics. All right. Okay. See, he's a water murderer. All right. That's enough. You swim straight down. And when you get close enough, you see that sitting atop of this marble staircase is a beautiful ornate marble chest. It is designed in such a way as to resemble that of moonlight etched squarely across the, uh, the face of the chest and it is inlaid with sapphire. Who knows what the uh, chest could contain, but the chest itself is undoubtedly worth money. Uh, I think to myself while under the water, I sure hope my friends are strong. I'm ripped now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I grab the chest and, I don't know, wait, wiggle the rope if it takes too long. Okay. You feel him pull on the rope, which is the universal sign for please pull me up. Now, hang on a second. He said he was supposed to sing when he wanted to. Sing. Yeah, he said he would sing. Okay. That's very true. All right. They, you tug the rope and they do not respond. <laughs> <laughs> They're beginning to run out of air. Uh, I point up towards the surface and use message. Pull me up! <laughs> oh, okay, that's it. That's the one. Oh, hey, yeah. Hey, All right, let's go. On. Do you got any water next to you, Stir? Uh, I don't, unfortunately. Well, yeah. I have like a bottle. You no, want me to gargle this shit? Gargle it and, and, and use the sing. I shut your mouth right. Worth it. That pull it's all over well, me now, so I hope it was worth like it. Pull me up, but I'm going to assume that we should pull him up. It's changed, but yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Eve, hi, boys. I start All right, I, I, I pull the rope okay. with all of my force. Make me strength check. I didn't think he'd uh, do it. I don't know where we're going to do it. Wait, who has guidance on Big Tree? Who's who's big doing pipe? the main? I feel like he uh, Huck's doing the main pulling. I'm assisting. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's what I meant. Huck, uh, cast uh, guidance uh, on Huck. Uh, can please. I can I can I use an athletics check? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Roll twice. Hey, right, guys. Oh, roll twice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Oh man. And I'll add D4, so 23. All right, the party works together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, For the record, a card's not doing anything. Oh. <laughs> you well, guess that is, that's, something. that's true. All right, and the guy is lifted up and he is what appears to be barely <laughs> holding on to a chest. This is very cold down there. I imagine oh, he looks like a wet cat. Explain just like... it. <laughs> Maybe we should have tried the scepter first. Also, oh, his why hair, would we do that? His hair has absolutely been destroyed no i think you look great don't no it's I, fine i don't it looks like crap we're just going to meet dead elves okay, down here i don't get it shit. destroyed <laughs> wait excuse me what how destroyed is it like mullet destroyed no he's just uh <laughs> you know he's gonna have to deal with it and gonna have to dry it out and it's ugh <laughs> Hair like that Wait. takes effort. Shut up, everyone. Let's pop this bad boy open. <laughs> That's the best thing you've said all day. What's in the box? I step away from the box. All right, now. <laughs> the car checks it for traps. I step away from the box. You've been in this campaign before, I see. Maybe, you know, take this, whatever. Take the scepter. I like examining the, the outcome of things, not it. being the direct out. Yeah, Who, who's who's got the scepter? Go I, I mean, I'm I'm holding it right now. Here, let, let me let me see for just. A, actually, you know what? Last time I did this, yeah, the last time, bad no, happened. I was gonna say last time that you held the scepter. Uh, you know what? 
I tap the chest with the scepter. Nothing happened. Uh, you have to say open a sesame. Uh, Baba Booey. I tap it again and say Baba Booey. Nothing happened. Baba Booey. Nothing happened. Worth a shot. It, it oh. card checks it for traps. All right, investigation check. There does not appear to be any traps, nor does the chest appear to be locked. Well, I, I guess go ahead and open it. Crack it open. All right. As you move the lever and open the chest, inside you see a gun. A gun? <laughs> Just pointing at you. <laughs> with a bang, a halfling, the little halfling flag with a gun. Says bang. Yeah, the long con. A gun. Give me all your money. Fill this oh, chest shit. up. <laughs> it's a mimic. But but it's, it's a mimic with a gun. A gun mimic. But it doesn't turn into a gun. It's just a mimic with a gun. All right. Inside, you actually see a crown. Oh. A crown it... made of moon rock, and it appears to be incomplete. Hmm. What's the name of this campaign again? Is it? Is it? Would you say it? Sh it looks rather shattered. It is a crown. No, no. It looks like it's unfinished. No, uh, unfinished crown. But it's clearly the shattered. Unfinished Let's crown go ask the blacksmith to fix it. <laughs> um. Can we? Can we see the other ramp structure from where we are? Yep. Like it. Okay. Now, call me crazy, but I uh, think there might be another one of those crowns over there. Um, so this is like a some some assembly required crown. Yeah, you, you got to get some glue <laughs> on there. You know, uh, uh, thread. It, show say, it, it looks like it says I IKEA on it. Uh, are any of you guys uh, magicians that know uh, the arcane? When oh you yeah. Look at things. <laughs> I ex I examine it. All right, make an arcana check. <laughs> hmm. Yep. That sure is a crown. I mean, you might let me take a look. You might call it an unrealized crown, a uh, a uh, conceptual crown. What does it look like? It's missing. Uh, it looks like that. Okay, so basically, imagine like a king's <laughs> crown, but it's only the thin piece at the bottom. So it looks like it's kind of cut in half. So it it actually looks more like a circlet. But there are notches that would indicate that there's supposed to be more of it. Ah. Mm. You didn't but, get the crown DLC. But yeah. the the shard that you have with you, do you remember uh, that you uh, that you showed to the nobleman? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. It seems to fit this crown, although not the right piece. It's a part of it, though. Hmm. Let's, uh, why don't we just take this and go to the other one then? Yeah, I guess we might as well. It's right over there. Hey, guy, you up for another splash and some water? No, but I'll do it for the team. Wow. I like that attitude. Right, Let's go. Look at Mr. Team Player over here. Unless Running. the other one is Run not us. water. <laughs> Bark. Ration. You're back. His right. name is Ronnie, not Ration. So you would like to uh, now. you would like to travel to the other structure? Yeah. Yes. yes. Same deal here? Is it is it is it any different? <sighs> Sorry. Bless you. Bless you. Uh yes, it is in fact the same, with one distinct difference. A, A massive minotaur. shadow is in the water and it is moving. Oh, under us? Oh, wait, no, can we in it? the water of the... Oh, in the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we're taking the chest with us, right? I mean, yeah. we are. Because that's yeah. what it's said to be worth a lot. Cool, okay. I'm going to perceive it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I enough. will also use my ability to perceive with both my eyes open. Scrapo spits in the water. Patooey! Whoa. Uh oh. Icard takes one of the worms he had and drops it into the water. Right right there. Whoosh. 
an explosion of water as a flash of scale and a great maw appear. Fish! I knew it! Fish! That looks friendly. They like worms. Well, it's your favorite food, right? Fish? Well, it's... Yes, I... Well, it depends on if it's... Yes, let's eat it. Let's just go ahead and say we're going to eat it. Sounds great. Let's shoot it. (laughs) Did it look like it was living? It's in the water. I mean... I'll shoot at it. It did, in fact, look alive. (laughs) And as you get closer, you see that it is, in fact, a massive koi fish. Ooh. I've got a spell for that. It is huge only have size. Five worms left. Meaning Guy, that it, it could devour you whole. Guy's gonna try and cast animal friendship. <laughs> okay. Come in a little fish. Is this Sekiro in the the, yes. the heaven level? Oh yeah. You guys yeah. remember the giant koi fish or whatever? Yeah. I do. Hey, uh, Moon. Hey. It's funny you mentioned that. Why? You'll see. <laughs> is that the art that you use? Okay, you'll see. All right, uh, has Animal Friendship got a save on it? Um, a hmm. uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Plus 20 incoming. Oh if my the, God. If the beast intelligence is four or higher, it fails. Four. For reference. Oh, okay. Well, it's intelligence isn't that high, but it seems unaffected by your spell. <sighs> But it is actually getting closer because of that. And you see that it starts to swim underneath mm-hmm. oh. <laughs> the ice. It's under the ice. Under the ice. Scro- yeah. Scropo um, combat rolls. Floats. It goes about 20, 10, 20 feet above the ground. Um, while the. And sort of falls. Um, so, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and throw a uh, illusion of myself. To stand directly above it. All right, you see, um, for lack of a better term, um, have you ever seen like, I guess, catfish or other sucker fish or bottom feeders that like attach their mouths to glass? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what's happening right now. Except it's a giant koi fish. How how is it? Is is the ice holding up? Obviously, it, it, it appears to be for now. Yes. Hmm. Well, does okay. anyone have any ideas? Cast animal friendship again. Melt the ice and expose it for the beast okay. that it is, and then we can scale it. It's got, it'll work eventually. I actually, I, I think I have a better idea. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Owned. <laughs> Wait, I think I, I have a better idea. Right, so the, so the, fish is, is, um, the fish is trying to like get to this, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to step back a little bit. And I'm going to have my illusion move to about here where it would have to go around. And then as it, if it tries to jump out uh, to grab the illusion, even though it's not there, I'm going to prepare lightning lure to try and pull it further out. It does not seem to jump after your illusion. Uh, Unfortunate. That was my idea. Uh, All right. Let me, let me propose a little something here. Why don't we see how far it can move out into the water, and then while it's out of its home, we reach in and grab whatever's there. Like, use that illusion. Okay. Bring it along this way. See how far it'll follow. Okay. Well, let's try that. I go That's ahead. Good. Oh, I actually, Scrubo probably didn't hear that. <laughs> He's on the other yeah. side. <laughs> I'm like the, whispering I move, this. I move the illusion, and I just slowly start walking this way. Hey, guy, now would be a great time to do the whole rope and water thing. I'm going to be following it because I, I don't do I have to stay within a certain distance. I need Huckleberry. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I don't, uh, Arcana, do I actually have to stay a certain distance to my illusion? Because I actually don't know. Uh, let me check. Are you using minor illusion? Yes. I think you do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. It uh, is I'm... range of 30 feet. Okay, <laughs> then I am just... I, <laughs> I'm staying at the bank and just moving the illusion along essentially. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the uh, big pipe for support, just in case. Just yeah, that's probably good. Okay. And okay. Uh, back over here All to right. you guys. Alright. Hey, what up? 
All right, Scrumble, you're gonna have to help me lift this rope, but those rifles <laughs> are good use. Yeah, these are purely aesthetic. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Well, uh, they are nice to look at. <laughs> They're gym muscles. <laughs> All right, no, I'm ready. Let's do this. If I don't make it back alive, tell that snooty wand salesman I didn't want to go to his party anyway. I hate that yeah. guy. Yeah, I'm fuck him. His shop down. Oh, he's made of stone. Let me tell you, I hate that guy, but I love this guy. And I point and point the guy. <laughs> You're making me blush. Yeah, well, I'll cool you off in just a second here now. Jump in. Good luck. All right, you lower. Do you jump in or do you lower him down? I'll lower. I'll lower. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Water. Swimming. Scrumpo is helping him. Athletics. Big swim energy. Oops. All right, you swim down, and much like before, you see another chest, except this one is inlaid with emeralds. I grabbed the chest. Emeralds. All right, <laughs> All right pull them up. Scopo right. helps. As you grab the chest, however, the emeralds begin to light up. As soon as uh -oh. that he's, car sees that shadow start to move back towards the, um, the chest, uh, he cast Thaumaturgy to make the ice vibrate right here. It seems to have delayed the creature, but not Hurry for very up! long. Make a strength check. Oh, no. can, can it be athletics? Oh, yes, athletics. That's fine. <laughs> okay. car gives him another Thaumaturgy right here, chasing him. Creature does not seem to be distracted this time. That's it! I, 17, is that enough? That's enough. You start to pull okay. up Guy. The shadow begins to charge directly towards him. You lift him up and he's about 15 feet off the ground when in one majestic leap, a koi fish rises up out of the water. It's great maw opening for the delicious guy. Guy, make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh my God. This is a uh, easy deck saving throw. <laughs> You said the koi is out of the water now, right? Well, it, it, it's leaping up out. It's like split second type stuff. Okay. It reaches up. Oh, wait, that's actually wrong. Okay. What's, uh, what's your should total? Be, should be two higher, so 14. Oh, I guess you could. Do you have any reactions that you would like to use? Baru, you were asking or leading up to something. Well, I was prepping lightning lore when it decided to actually come out. Like when we were originally doing this here. So that way I could pull it. The moment I see it. Uh. Okay, sure. I have Does you ready for that? Away? I gotta be ready for that. Uh, the the range is. Oh no no no! Yeah, you're not in range. Never mind. It's you have to be within 15 feet of that thing. Uh -oh. 15. Yeah. I thought that was a lot longer. Never yeah, mind. Right. All right. Fish comes flying out at you with a 14 though, just barely. Its lips miss your feet as it flops down into the water. Begins to angrily <laughs> swim around in a circle. <laughs> you feel the. <laughs> You feel the entirety of this building begin to shake as it begins to slam into the marble. It car right, drops another worm. It car drops another worm right in the center. Hey, use the scepter. Bye. Uh, 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 fish, shut up. The fish is too enraged. It's pissed. Doesn't even like the worm. Fine. Uh, just fail you up another worm. save next time. We'll be friends. <laughs> and smash. It begins to break through the ice. All right, we gotta get let your let get at him. Um, about I that. Kill it. it just, I'm just, not really. I'm not very happy about walking over the ice right now. <laughs> bark. A car, a car picks up Ronnie. Ooh. Bark, 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 bark. 
Uh, I'm I not that fat. You want to pick me up? There's a there's a land bridge over here, isn't there? Down by the pyramid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you little, can climb that. You can climb the arch. archway. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm gonna make my way down there. Because <clears throat> the I'm idea of being dropped onto the ice is probably even worse. I'm following Big Pipe. Again, just as backup, because I right. know I'm not. You begin to uh, move with a haste as the shadow begins to move towards you, but it has to break through the ice, so it is greatly delayed, but it is making progress towards you. As you... We, we have the chest, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Who has it? Guy does. Open the chest. Uh, shouldn't we make sure he doesn't die first? What, what's it going to do? It's a fish. I... It's a magical elven fish. Right. I'm going to attempt to climb this. Athletics you check to climb. You said athletics? Yep. I'm going to, I I give him a guidance tap as we, before he starts to climb. And then add a d4, yeah. D4. All right, 13. a 13 is barely enough to climb the slippery side of that archway. <laughs> I'm going to back even further up. Yeah, I bet you're mad you overgrown guppy. All right, and the, how, how tall is this thing? Uh, ten feet mechanically. Okay, I'm just gonna climb on top of it. All right. Well, the creature is now denied; it cannot reach you, and so it will continue to rage against the ice, having failed its purpose. It would seem. This is kind of <laughs> sad. Listen, maybe what? if it was better at its job, it wouldn't have to be in such pain. It doesn't look like there's a lot to eat down there anyway, so it won't be much longer. Well, it's got two worms now, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I feel kind of sad. What? It's a wasted meal. We could have eaten that fish. Yes, I know. Let's I could have eaten it. the worms, but instead I threw it at a fucking fish. I wish we saw the bomb. We could have made it eat it and then it would have blown up and the fish chunks would have flown I, everywhere. I had a dream I still had that bomb. Oh, wow. I miss is it. The, is the fish still trying to get out from the ice? It's trying, but it's not really. It, it's It's rage is starting to subside and it eventually returns oh well, well hang on now let's uh let's, let's crack that chest open yeah. see what's going on whoa the car check checks for... this one for traps we're rich All right. the fish is in the chest with a gun wow. what what's what's there a car tell me what do you see it looks like it's a chest there are well, no traps here. I'm going to go ahead and slap it open because the other one didn't have any traps. Why would this one? All right. As you open up the chest inside, you see <laughs> two gold ingots. Ooh. Uh, a bag of emeralds. Ooh. And a dagger whose blade appears to radiate moonlight. Ooh. I examine the dagger. I assume that's an arcana check. That is correct. <coughs> it's pointy. I know that. <laughs> All right. You have identified a moonfire dagger. Ooh. It is, what a, is this? it is a plus one dagger that does 1d6 points of radiant damage in addition to oh. its normal damage. Interesting. Well, we got a dagger here. Is that more your style guy or you, Scrumpo? I noticed you uh, attack with the bow. Look, man, I, I can only use weapons that are so big because I'm so small. However, uh, I mean, I, I can take or leave it. I, I don't know if Guy's better with it or not. I prefer a rapier. Do you only use one rapier, by the way? Uh, what, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Should I be using two? That doesn't make any sense. What? Have you ever seen someone duel with a rapier and use two? Why not? It's unsportsmanlike. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Man. All right, give it here. Let's see this. All right, I hand him the dagger. Scrumpo holds it, it above feels, his head. It feels... Uh, Da, 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 da. It feels good <laughs> in your hand. <laughs> nice. I'm going to use this to kill everything down here. 
Okay, let me go Ooh, ahead and just slow down there, partner. Let me update your dagger <laughs> yeah. macro. Uh, I go ahead and push, right? Oh, he F. You're back. Am I back? Hey. Uh I go ahead and take the bag of emeralds and I examine how many are in there. Uh there are a thousand gold pieces worth of emeralds in there. Ooh. Ooh. How many emeralds specifically? Six. I Okay, cool. I'm asking this because I'm writing everything that we yeah, have. Is this a build your own crown? So this is 1d6 radiant plus one because it's a plus one weapon. I don't know how magical weapons work. Correct. Plus one to attack and damage and a plus and an additional 1d6 of radiant damage. I've already wow. updated your dagger macro to moonfire dagger. You can click it now to see. Ooh, neat. Oh. Um, that nice. Me. Um, Arcanum, can you help me out with a... Uh, uh, macro to for my bonus attack from polar master at some point oh the uh the butt end yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> nice is there anything besides the bag of emeralds and the dagger the gold uh two gold ingots oh, i mean yeah the two gold ingots mm -hmm. but like there's no discernible crown piece these emeralds don't fit into the crown no the emeralds appear to just be generalistic wealth. Well, we're richer, but we don't really have any more of the crown. Oh, well, I guess we go to the pyramid now. Let's uh, oh, that's what it's called. Right, a pyramid. Why didn't pyramid. I think? Pyramid. Right, thank you. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Oh, that's going to save us so much time talking about it. Let's go. <laughs> it's called a pyramid. Oh, right. Of course. I'm sorry they got me. All right. Are you ready to enter? Yes. Yeah. So be it. Let me just <laughs> let me just go find him because you're gonna I summon wanna... him at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wear the half him crown the moment We get to the front entrance. This way, if we all forget about the crown and someone wants to talk about it, they'll see it on my head. Oh, you're wearing we'll the crown. Yeah, the Hell circlet yeah. half crown, nothing. It's keeping my hair down as well. All right, as mm -hmm. you approach the entrance to the pyramid, you can see that the force field that once barred your way has dissipated. And instead, there is a, a, a like a, a hewn ice door that can be opened like any normal door. It's a large pair of double doors with a with a with a lever opening device. Set uh, up. Well, hold on. Let me go. Uh, I go ahead and blow on the lantern. Okay. <laughs> My lords, you have summoned me. I am here to provide guidance. Look, look, we're, we're not going to mesh with you this time. We swear. I promise not to mess with you after I've, we've probably already pissed you off from setting the forge master. And by we, I mean me. I feel no anger towards my service. Oh, well, that's good then. Anyway, <laughs> there's, there's still time, but all right. <laughs> give it a couple more. Give it a couple more hours or however long it feels for you in there. Anyway, I do not feel point. any time passage whenever I'm within the lantern. It is as if I stop existing for that time. That's sad. Uh, uh, yes, we've heard this before. So it should be like you, you said this five minutes ago. <laughs> Apologies, my master. Scrumpo laughs. I did not mean to be boring. It, by the way, do you recognize my 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 crown thing? Ah, uh, yes, you have found one of the next pieces of your inheritance. A crown of flowing water is a potent magical device and a signal to all those that would gaze upon your royal decrees. So, uh, where, any idea where the rest of the pieces are? Because there no seems doubt. to be a few parts missing, like it's shattered or something. No doubt that the rest of the pieces will be found within the inner sanctums of the Lord of Flowing Water, kept in preparation for his inheritance. So why'd you throw one piece into a lake? If I had an eyebrow, I would raise it. Oh, uh... I'm just saying, it doesn't really seem like... Why would you put all the pieces in there and then, like... I cannot account for why they were placed where they were. I was not the one that placed them. So about the... 
I, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know anything about the giant koi fish either that tried to eat us. Oh, no, I know of that. It is one of the guardians of this place, a favored pet of the Lord of Flowing Water. If you tell me that all I had to do was wave the staff to make him nice again, I'm going to tell you to go back into the lantern. My Lord. Upon the use of the scepter, you may find that the creature will be most accommodating. I got Scrumpo couldn't take it anymore. No, he no, just left. Uh, my, it was lagging really hard, so I have to reconnect, I think. Okay. okay. <laughs> he said okay in the, the echoey voice. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. We, we are in a cave. I mean... Okay, so why did you summon him? I wanted to, we wanted to ask him about the crown. Oh, so, oh. Is there oh. perhaps an itinerant Lord of the Flowing Water? In... Hmm. It is possible that he assigned a regent to keep safe those servants that were buried with him. How's he going to feel about the whole crown thing? Hopefully they will serve you willingly, but as I can sense even here, there are some that have lost their way in service. Corruption, I fear, is a perilous yet common occurrence. So they, they drank a lot, did they? I cannot attest as to their sobriety. I mean, we did find the frozen mead barrel inside the last one that we killed. That's what I'm saying. That's... I checked behind Huck. Is this thing thawed yet? Uh, he'll. I mean, no. Yeah, probably <laughs> checking the barrel. I'd be like, mm. it's been like a few hours. I doubt it. Is this a thing? Oh, it's that's the uh, that's the representation of the uh, glowing snowflakes that the were snowflakes falling. Things. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta be recentered. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks, mate. No problem. Anything we should know before venturing inside this uh, three hmm. pyramid? It is said that the Lord of Flowing Waters uh, inner sanctum was a beautiful place with rich gardens, flowing waters, a tapestry of art and beauty. One could expect such things there, I suppose. Yeah, let's focus maybe on things that are going to kill us. It is said that the warrior guardians that the Lord of Flowing Water used were also poets and painters, but skilled warriors in their craft. No doubt you shall face quite the resistance should they become corrupted. Oh good, they're going to kill us in iambic uh, pentameter, everyone. No, if, if they try to fight us, I'll challenge them to an art off. Oh, that's good. Yes, they won't be able to resist. I like it. I very much like it. Yes, and then while we're painting, club them over the head. Right, see, that's true. I like that. I could do that. Oh, all right, are we ready? Well, I guess we're going inside. Back into the lantern. <laughs> Man. <laughs> all right, you would like to enter the pyramid then? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. I'll move you guys in. All right, get ready to load. Uh oh, <laughs> felt like I just lost connection there. All right, there we go. Loading. Loading. Pyramid of flowing water. Loading. I think you guys are really gonna like this map. He really I hate it. He really <laughs> outdone himself.
Well, while you guys are loading, I'm going to show chat room. I'm, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'm one away. Always the last one that takes the longest. That's, that's true. Yes, that's wow. Profound. Oh, that's pretty. I like Aww, it. You're cute. I like it. I would I would read a book in a in a hammock here. Ah yeah yeah. Ah yeah yeah. What are I we gonna come, break first? I would come in here and take selfies and say I was gonna post them on Instagram, but then never do it. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Once everybody's loaded, we can start. I think we're all in. Everybody's loaded. All right. As you enter the uh, as you enter the inner sanctum of the Lord of Flowing Water, what you see is astonishing and unexpected. The pyramid is tall and wide, perhaps even bigger than it seemed on the uh, on the outside. And as you walk within, you can see that there are great flowing waterfalls. Mist fills the area. It is pleasant on the skin as it is also warm here, as if the temperature is regulated some in some magical way. Water gardens cover the entirety of the area, and within them you can see all sorts of flowers, fish, and paintings and statues can be seen adorning and decorating the entirety of it all. Neat. This, this is astonishing and unexpected. This is ours now. It okay. belongs to us. Okay. Almost. Well, no. I mean, if you, if it belongs to you, the first thing you're going to do is I burn it down. I thought it was cool and everybody's making fun of it. <laughs> I hate everything. Let's go ahead. Is this, is this purple thing in our way or could we go through No, this is an archway. You can go through oh, okay. Ronnie. What do I, I'm going to make a perception check to see if I see any guardians. If there's any fair maidens, we do rock, paper, scissors. I didn't know you were into the whole I see absolutely thing. nothing. I don't have genitals, so I'm not going to roll. Oh, I mean, rock, paper, scissors. All right. All right. Uh, the car, the car <laughs> looks for anything suspicious. I'm just I'm just suspicious of everything. Perception check. All right, a car. I tried to run. I tried to run it on Ronnie. Oh. Up ahead, you do see something. Something stands on the bridge ahead of you. Upon, upon a closer look, you can see that this something is actually two individuals, although there is something very odd about them. Hot grills. Here we go. <laughs> you see. You see two warriors that appear to be almost painted to life. Hmm. Check these guys out. They have handouts. Hot. Oh, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to see what's happening here. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're okay. Mm-hmm. Hot. Okay, I bet you all, I don't know, 50 gold. We, we should go around these guys, go into the castle, temple, whatever's up there, and there's going to be a guy painting these, and then I'll do a paint off with him, and I'll easily defeat him, because I'm... Well, hold on. Let's, Let's kill them. The car whips me... out a jar of turpentine. Also, <laughs> I have some uh, ambience for you guys. Cool. Okay. My current ambience just finished. This is good. Perfect. Another ambience, please. There you go. One ambiance. <laughs> Garçon, more ambiance, please. <laughs> Is your ambiance free or do I have to pay for it? Uh, burn the bridge, guy. Well, why don't I'm, you let me? Why don't you let me hold that crown for just a second? Uh, what? Crown and scepter. That sounds like a good that match. It's my crown. I went in the water. It was very cold. And I'll let you have it again. But I'm you just have, gonna walk you up won't there. You fit with your horns. Use the scepter. I might need the crown. Let's, w let's walk together. We're a couple. I'll hold your yeah. hand. Hold hands. Yeah. I'm this is awkward. No like I'll be your queen. You big babies. All right, fine. 
<laughs> As you approach, the two warriors will bar your path. <coughs> Hello! We're together. <laughs> <laughs> the warriors do not question your coupling. They do not question anything, save that you shall not walk forward. They say nothing, but their hands are upon their weapons. I bring out the scepter and I say, we are the he inheritors of the Scarab Lords. Please allow us to pass. The two will look at each other and look back and nod. One will gesture for you to follow. Well, all right. The beetle that... thing finally worked. Uh, they're leading us to an ambush. We're still holding hands. Some old dead elf will tell us it was a test. But I'll have a sword in my chest. My last words will be, we were together. Is this a haiku? Uh, no, <laughs> no. All right, you come to a building that seems to be covered is? in mist and kind of sort of yeah, elevated above the ground a bit. The brushstroke samurai walks up several steps and then opens a door for you and stands to the side and gestures within. Um, Ikar looks at the brushstroke samurai. It seems anything is just weird. Like the whole corruption thing made him a little well, suspicious. This is definitely a weird individual. He is, and for lack of a better way of describing it, he's a cartoon. He's drawn. He's, he's like size. He's like size. Uh, animals from Naruto. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right, great. Yeah, this, walk is, in. this is just like Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop about here. Okay. I just, I'm a little behind because I got to reveal stuff. Sure, sure. Let's get to and this music is chilling me the hell out. All right. As you enter this point, you can see that there is a great mirror in the center of the room that is kind of embedded into the floor. Hmm. To the east and west, there are water fountains, uh, which are there purely for what appears to be a decorative display. Behind it, however, there is a great chandelier that has crashed into the ground. And here, there is yet another mirror. And it's seated upon this mirror, Kind of laying in the center of it, you see this individual. Oh, <gasps> like Naruto. Whoa. It's just like Naruto. Is it? Is it Naruto? Still holding hands, I walk forward. All right. Towards the individual. You see a strange woman with many tails flowing out from beneath her dress. Ooh. As she looks up as you approach, you notice that her mouth is uh, painted in such a way that it seems that her mouth is gone. Oh. Oh. How's she gonna suck that D? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Continue. Did you, you get it out of your system? Are you okay? Continue. I, continue I, got, I got like two more. All right. Continue. She will gesture here, indicating that perhaps you would stand before her. <laughs> I walk forward. I go over here to stand by Scrumpo. Scrumpo is currently hip thrusting. We've come but, in pairs. But subtly. This is a group date. We are all together in our own ways. Huck kind of tries to hip thrust, but that doesn't really work. He just kind of <laughs> shakes, shakes his right. horse butt. As you begin to stand before her, uh, these individuals will appear flanking Whoa. you. But they're they are not hostile but they are definitely watching you carefully. I give a bow. The woman, uh, hello. the woman sitting on the, uh, on the mirror will also return the bow and then will conjure two chairs made out of ink for you. Take the seat. Yeah, all right. Thank she, you. She will <laughs> then conjure servants to provide you with food and drink. Specifically, she pours for you uh, a pure sake 
and the treats are that of of um, uh, soy buns. Although she does not speak, as her hands move, you can feel that she radiates an aura of command. She is most certainly a figure of authority here. Um, can I like? Is this? Did she just conjure the the food and drink in front of me? She, she did. Said? Can I arcana check the food to you make sure it's not like really you weird? You can arcana check in general, yes. I'm going to do that on the food. Okay. The food does not... Well, first of all, the food is different from the chairs as it is actually real. <clears throat> um, it does not appear that it is poisoned. Although, if she wanted to kill you, she has guards for that. Seems like poison would be a, a pointless gesture at this point. All right. I have some of the food and sake. Do we get some? Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, are you guys? Oh, okay, we're you're, here. you're, you're we're there. In the back. I thought you were standing were way back. Yes, uh, the same is conjured for you. Scrupo puts it on the ground. It doesn't touch it. Okay. <laughs> the card, the card digs right the hell in. Zero, zero etiquette or manners. He's same. A, he's a bird. Ronnie, Ronnie barks and eats. Actually, Ronnie growls. Oh. He didn't like the lady. Hmm. Is he is he growling at the lady? Oh yeah. Kick gotcha. the dog. Kick him. Shut him up. The car punch the dog. The car gives him. The car kind of like gets down right on his level, so it's like their noses are touching. Uh. Now eat him. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's the matter? Ronnie just continues to growl softly. Not like full on bared teeth. I'm about to go fucking destroy this person. But it seems that Ronnie either doesn't like or doesn't trust the individual seated upon the mirror. Have a care, piping guy. Sounds like a plumbing company. Piping guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll fix your leaks. <laughs> You'll lay the pipes. I'll fuck your wife. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Oh. As uh, as you have been served properly, she will then uh, raise her hands as if to indicate that you should speak. Uh, hello. We, we are the inheritors of these... Uh... Scarab Lord and Flowing Water, it's kind of our thing. We're going around she, trying to gain she, that throne. She will mime laughter and cover her face. Yes. I, yes. Will, take a, I will take a moment and uh, gesture for a car to come forward. Waddle, waddle, and I waddle, blow waddle, waddle, waddle. on a lantern. How many others have come through here? We like the I, I'm group. the lantern, dude. I know, yeah, I'm, I'm getting him. I gotta go grab him and bring him over here. <coughs> As you ask the question, how many have come before, she holds up two fingers. Mm, better than I thought. <sighs> Greetings, my lords. How may Greetings. I be of assistance? I believe that we are here in the inner sanctum. I do not believe so. He will turn around and actually see the person seated there. This is curious. Are you just gonna let that one hang there? Uh, but what's curious about it? Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, good. That's good. However, it seems that the woman knows what he is and will bow in respect to the lantern lighter. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, do you know thieves can't? That, that would be helpful. Someone uh, does. But then you might have to talk to Scrumpo. Yeah. <laughs> Scrumpo, Scrumpo grew up around thieves. The uh, woman just, does yeah. not respond to that question. She will then kind of 
uh, woefully point at her mouth. Yes. She, she will mime the action of speaking and she will hold her hands to her heart. I, I suppose you need our help. Does anybody have any paper, writing utensils, that sort of thing? I, I, I might be blasphemous around here, I know. She, she um, nods. Oh, fair, fair point. Fair point. At the mention of help, she will nod vigorously. Nod as in like, yes, or nod as in, no, that, that, can, that can go both ways. At the mention of help, she certainly seems that she would like some help, yes. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, have you lost your voice? Well, that's kind of obvious. Would you like us to help you recover your voice? She will bow in gratitude. Ah. Guys. Yes? If, if we give her back her voice, there's a chance she may use it to curse us? I'm just yeah, not we... getting great vibes, is all I'm saying here. Let's kill her. Maybe not quite, quite there. Trump out! Did Let's wait until she's asleep. But he's whispering. <laughs> does, does she hear that? She doesn't seem to hear that. Let's wait until she's asleep and then murder her in her sleep and then take her temple. Scrumpo, I don't think that's a good idea. All right, but I'm just saying that's my idea. Take it or leave it. <laughs> it is noted. We'll, we'll put it on the back. <laughs> I don't, look, I just, I'm just saying that's the only person that Ronnie has ever growled at. That's and right. we face gigantic fucking ice monsters, all right? And, and Scrumpo, who constantly talks about eating them. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's never growled at Scrumpo, and look. Yeah, that's right, because I'm a being of a pure intention at heart. So I'm just saying perhaps a bit of caution is in order here. Uh, that's all. Hey, we're not all the greatest people in the world either. Maybe she's done something the dog can sense. But who cares? You Maybe know, she'll have sex with us. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Maybe. <laughs> I, I gotta say, it's a consideration. Nice. Let's help her. <laughs> wait, hang on. I got an idea. That was a quick, oh, that was no, a quick no. 180 on you, Scrumpo. Oh, wait. I, 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 I didn't think about it until now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll bet. have sex with us. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's a better one than the forge idea, I promise you. All right? All right. Who's, who's got I it? I mean, that, that bar is set pretty low. Just, just give me a chance here, all right? Okay. Uh, do, does anybody have pen and, like, ink and, and a piece of paper? Yes. I don't. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think I do. What do I have on me? I have a scholar's pack. Wouldn't I have I bet, I bet Huck yeah, doesn't scholar, have it. Scholar's pack. Scholar's pack would have it, yep. Yeah. All right. I, all right. I have a scholar's let, pack. Let me let me have let me have a piece of paper. You, you can't no, you don't just draw. You don't even her. know how to read. Just, just, you know just, how to write. Just, just, let me try it. Let me try it. Okay. Uh, you want to try to write? If this if this doesn't work, then I'll never I'll never present another idea ever again. I, oh, I believe no, no part of that. Okay, I don't believe you. But here you go. Here's pen and paper. Okay. I don't okay. have you ever used these before. I've seen them. I know how it's done. All right. Ask her to go on a date with me. Okay. okay. So Huck draws like a, just a big open smiley face mouth with teeth in it. And then he walks over and then holds the paper out to her. <laughs> she will, she, her eyes will open with surprise and she will begin to blush and cover her face. Yeah. Look, Dirty I mean, it looks like you're missing this. Like, you're just, here, use it. Go ahead, it's a gift from me to you. Take it. She will accept the fan art. <laughs> oh. Mine. She Can will you... then uh, conjure a brush and will turn the paper over and will begin to paint. There we are. And then she okay. shows a picture of you, Huckleberry. Oh. Well, hey, I like that. Uh, but you Tell notice, me the picture have a mustache or not? Me. The, picture, me. the picture has a mustache, yes. Oh, well, I oh, got my good chat. What can I say? She uh, will hand it back well, to you. Well, thank Well, Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, you don't want the mouth? I mean, it looks like you can't talk, but uh, you want to uh, use will that? Then nod, she will then nod as if suddenly understanding, and she will point to the brush and then conjure a piece of paper and then we'll put the brush towards the paper and attempt to write 
and when she holds it up, the ink falls away and nothing happens. Uh, uh, mm. should, um, could I use that brush? I, I don't understand what the problem is. We're very confused. This is very strange. It, it the car is going to leave the car is going to leave talk at all. Neither written nor spoken. Is that correct? She will nod. Hmm. Um. Then we'll leave this to yes and no questions from here. While while they're talking, mm-hmm. Ikara's gonna uh, cast augury. Oh boy! What's now that? now we're <laughs> now we're playing with some magic. Uh, and he's gonna he's gonna ask, uh, basically trying to divine what what the outcome is of helping this person. Nice. So you, uh, so the question you're asking me is what the results of helping this person would be? Yeah, because it just, Ikara's getting a bad feeling. Like helping her is just not a good idea. The results of that is wheel and woe. <laughs> oh, great. Ikar shrugs and walks back inside. Just having a smoke. Oh, all right. You know what's bad for me, brother. All right, so I go ahead and ask. Scrupo smokes it. He's smoking the pipe. Uh, and a car cast it as a ritual, if it wasn't clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to be asking her just a bunch of yes and no questions at this point. All right, go ahead. Did this curse happen because you were because you are here? She nods. Can you leave that circle? She shakes her head. Hmm. Did someone take your voice? She nods. Mm. Hey, hold on, guys. Hey, Big Pipe, ask her if these guys are her boyfriend. <laughs> are these warriors next to us your conjurations? She nods. Is the person that took your voice in this temple? She shakes her head. Hmm. Well, I mean, it seemed that the blacksmith was bound for eternity for good reason. Um, was your mouth taken away for good reason? I'm probably biased, but... She does not respond. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> it wasn't... Did the forge master take your voice? Because if so, oh god. She I mean, shakes her all, head. We're all about redemption. You know what this is? I bet I, all these crate like this. This lady, he's, Scrubbo's whispering. Oh, the the blacksmith, this lady, they're all like pets to the elves, man. I'm telling you, and they're probably being kept here. And she probably does like one thing that like she does really well, right? And yeah, she's I probably just to know what that is. I'm well, looking just, at this big mirror, <laughs> by the way. I, I, but I'm just saying. I'm saying. She's as you probably approach like the big mirror, an old elf slave. It becomes opaque, almost as if you can't see anything. Like, like it's covered in frost. Gotcha. Did the chandel- where did the chandelier fall from? Specifically in the room? Um, like, was it right above here? From or? directly above it, yes. Okay. Uh, was, this chandel- was this chandelier up or fallen when you got here? The first time? She does not respond <laughs> to that. She can't really. Oh, I guess like up or down. Do you like elves? She'll cock her head to the side, not understanding the question. Uh, How do you not understand that question? Uh, look, uh, I know you can't write, but you can draw instead of write, correct? She nods. Oh, well, good. Cause I mean, you know, it's easier to communicate that way. Uh. Can you draw us a picture of the person that took your voice? She will take her brush and she will begin to paint. What you see is a silhouetted figure wearing a great crown. Waters flow all around him. You can Mm. see that she is lifted up by the throat. Something is torn from her face and she is thrown down into a circular place. There she is visited by the crowned king and there she is made to draw all sorts of things 
until finally the king comes no more and thus her purpose is also denied and her uh, prison is sealed told you yeah look at that idiots can we use the scepter I imagine that we could use the scepter to break whatever seal is on her, just well, like we did for the Forge Master. Before we break any shields, might we can give her a voice back? Ask. Uh, listen, I say we help her. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> look, look. It's it's gonna go it's gonna go both ways here, folks. Just just say so you no. Know. We're gonna be neighbors. That's true. We, we need to you know get off on the right foot. We're, we're not like that old asshole who you know locks people up. I bet she'll help us if we let her free. Uh, did Is you the know that stole yeah. your voice? The old Lord of Flowing Waters. But she'll ta- she'll she'll cock her head to the side, but then she'll nod. Ah. Perhaps we best find that regent. We might need to. Have you fully explored this place? I assume that you have. She shakes her head. Can you not see through the eyes of these creatures? She shakes her head. Mm. Would you have any problem with us checking the rest of this temple? She shakes her head. Mm. Nice. Then she holds up a hand and then shakes her head more and indicates that you should not. Let's do it anyway. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with Scrumpo here. Is there a danger somewhere else in this temple? She nods vigorously. Can you draw a picture of it? She attempts to draw a picture of it, but as she begins to draw, her hands begin to bleed and she falls to the ground, whimpering in pain. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my. Okay, well. Um. Uh, is there anything, can you draw something that might help us? I'm assuming fight is what we're going to be doing. Fight this thing. Yeah, let's do it. She takes, she takes her paintbrush and dips it in the blood from her hands and begins to paint you three health potions and presents them to you. Uh, can these warriors come with us? Oh, good, yes. She will paint a picture of her warrior and then will hold up her hand and it, make it look like, a, like, a, like an enemy, like a serpent. The warrior will attack her hand and it will dissipate instantly. Hmm. Looks like uh, the warriors can't be turned against whatever else is in this temple. She will the not. scoops up those potions. Will these warriors attack us if we go further in? She will shake her head. Uh, what kind of health potions were they? Uh, they are special. And you do you not. Know. And you do not know what they do. Can I? Can I? Check out and see if I can figure it out. Sure can. I'm gonna that's, Arcana check that's that. Arcana, right? Can oh, I yeah, get, I have no can I get guidance before I do that? Yeah, totally. Hell yeah. That doesn't fucking matter. No, not at all. We all got but, one, right? Oh, there you go. Uh, she made three. Oh, okay. Is a 12 enough? A 12 is enough to identify that these are empowered health potions. Specifically, drinking one of these heals you for 30 hit points. Oh, it's not even a roll. It's just straight up 30. Straight up 30 hit points. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Shall I pass these out? Shall I hold on to them? What do you want? Well, I mean. Well, I could take one, seeing as how I'm usually the one swinging my. swinging loud iron around up there. A car passes one to Huck and one to Guy and I guess one to Pipe. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sorry, Scrumpo. You're always Listen, hiding anyway, so it doesn't matter. I've had a, I've had a recent awakening, a, a, a sort of communing with my ancient ancestors. Icar yawns. Yeah, listen up. All right, my old relative <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. had a very special oh, technique you don't to make myself Icar, Icar tucks his beak into his wing. What is that? Uh huh. Tell me. I'm like you... I'm like leaning over and using his head as like a headrest. <laughs> Point is, I'll never get hit again, ever, oh, by anything. No kidding, yeah, all right. <laughs> that. Ronnie's listening. Hold on. Scrumpo looks at the fox lady. She looks back at Scrumpo. Are you a demon? She will shake her head. Are you single? She will nod. 
If we do this, will you go on a date with me? <laughs> she will blush, but she will nod. <laughs> Look, Scrumpo, the no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Scrumpo, Scrumpo. Scrumpo does like the gesture, like get everyone to group up. Listen, the trick is you gotta subscribe to her OnlyFans. That's the chicken. <laughs> All right, that's it. No more listen of that up. shit. I'm gonna lose it. There's, oh, listen up. There's no way that someone that good looking would ever to <laughs> agree to a date with me. Fucking OnlyFans, dude. God. Well, you, you hold power over her, Scrumpo. It's yeah, I know. She's lying. The hierarchy. She's, lying. she's a lying she, bitch. That's what I'm saying. It? Lying about what? She, she's only saying it to, to, to the wheel help her. Um, uh, she's never gonna go on a date with me, guy. All right, I don't even have any jewels. <laughs> she doesn't know that. That's the way to find out. <laughs> Look, it's fair to say that we all can see this is it's probably a trap. But, uh, maybe she you know, feels safer. The trap that we know about is better than one we don't. Maybe we'll see her breasts. There's a chance. Oh my God. That is a possibility. <laughs> nice. All right, it doesn't matter anymore. Let's do this. Oh my God. <laughs> And Lantern Man, really, none of this is ringing a bell. The Lantern Man awaits for you to ask him for guidance. <laughs> but Lantern he, but, he will, but he will respond and say, Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, she seemed like she noticed you. Look, look, we Lantern can't Lauder, can you tell me anything about this mirror that she's standing on? Hmm. <laughs> The mirror reflects that of the perfect waters, a still reflection of oneself and one's future. It seems, however, that the mirror is hmm, opaque, incomplete. There is a blockage of some kind. Okay, all these boobs aside, uh, where were we to go next? Down through this temple anyway? I know, well, the, uh, I know you don't want us to explore, uh, but if we what you were... Mean by that blockage? I'm sorry, there's like eight things <laughs> saying at the same time. Uh, I, I, I was saying, can you explain what you meant by uh, a blockage? Meaning that something is preventing its magic from functioning. Or were you asking him that? Hello? I'm asking him that. Oh, he will say, as if something is preventing the magic from being completed. Oh, yes. Th 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 now with the echo, that makes much more sense. Um, is the chandelier in the way of anything? I noticed that when I got closer to it, it became opaque. Mm -hmm. Is there like... It doesn't seem that the chandelier is blocking anything. But upon closer inspection, it seems that the chandelier is rusted through. Which is strange because everything else in this room is pristine as if time has not touched it except for that chandelier gentlemen what? have you noticed the mirrors on the outside of the room all seem to be pointing toward the center yeah look at that wow what does it mean that's it that's all i've got uh, so let's Can explore I... investigation the uh actual chandelier itself sure to thing. try and figure out why time has touched only this item sure thing mm. and maybe maybe a car yeah there you go could assist with that all right as the two of you begin to investigate you find something quite revealing Ooh. this chandelier is not magitalian it is not elven. This chandelier is dwarven and is not from this place. Is it is it tall enough to like how, how big is it? Is it blocking like the, the mirror's view from each other? Yes. Hey, Hawk. Yeah. I think I need your help with something. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, just give me a minute here. Uh, do these mirrors move at all? Would you like to try and move them? I what? no longer want to do that. <laughs> and okay. Well, <laughs> wait. Well, okay. To be fair, in character, uh, can I like wiggle one just to see if it's on sort of a? Do do they like swivel? No, they don't. They don't. Oh, okay, okay. Um. Okay, so they don't move. Uh, yeah. All right. What do you need? 
You see this chandelier? And he tried, he tried taking the chain and dragging it to say like, over here. Yeah, what am I, a pack mule? Don't answer that, but yes, I will You're do You're the it. strongest one. Yeah, I like that Trump phrase. Trumpo's muscles are as real as my illusions. He's treating you like a mule. A, a car gives him guidance. Well, let's see you try then, Scrumpo. <laughs> I'm only trying to make All him right. feel bad. I, I, uh, I'll, uh, I know you are. Grab the ch- <laughs> I'll grab the chain and like hoist it over my shoulder and try and drag the chandelier okay. out of the way. Make an athletics check. Uh, did you say you gave me guidance? I did. Cool. <laughs> okay, okay, wow. Lucky me. Uh, plus D4. Yeah. <laughs> That's 11. That's enough. That's a- wow, I- okay. A few stumbles. All right, go ahead and move. Wherever you're going. Uh, I think I'll, I'll probably just drag it over here. Yeah, where do we want it out of the way? Uh, we were, I was going to move it to here. Okay. Uh, uh, doing great. Uh, thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. Actually, maybe more like right here. Where? Like right. I don't out know. Like yeah. yeah. Out of the way. Yeah. But not blocking this one, I assume. Yeah, like into the corner. I'll take it. Yeah. Perfect. All right, now what? Do I notice anything change with the mirror? Uh, no. Hmm. We just we just thought it made the room look off. That's all. Great job. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I don't know much about uh, room decoration, but I'll trust you on that one. Well, you do now because you did a great great job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. What now? I'm going to just walk up to the mirror. Hey. He said, I see absolutely nothing with it. When you get close to it, you see nothing but frosted glass. Walk through it. I put my hand on it. I'm going to assume nothing has changed. Make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Why? Fly. Mmm, <laughs> like a fly to a glue trap. Eh. Your hand is now do, do stuck I to a strange liquid like material. It doesn't do work for it. it's it's ability or skill checks, I think. <sighs> let me let me look. There is a uh, a, a a humming muffled moan of panic from behind you. As it seems your hostess has seen what has happened. No, it's fine. Don't worry. Scrumpo stabs a short sword, big pipe, just to try to block the view. Yeah, we're standing, we'll stand around him. He <laughs> it unfurls his wings. Nothing. It's fine. Scrumpo stabs a short sword into the mirror next to his uh, big pipe's hand. Next to it? Yeah. Like he's trying to cut it free, I guess. Oh, okay. So you start like sawing through the yeah the mirror material. The car's got both of his wings all the way out. I continue drinking the sake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the uh, bush, <laughs> the brushstroke samurai come up and begin to assist Big Pipe to escape. Oh, oh, oh! A car, a car folds his wings and walls away. And with their help, you are able to escape. The mirror ripples hmm. and is smooth-faced once more. All right, show up here. Uh, Huck will walk back to uh, the, this lady here and say, sure, don't touch that. Don't, we don't want to touch that. She shakes her head. She, no, no, don't touch it or no, do touch it. <laughs> she will hold up a flat plane of her hand. Uh-huh. She will move her finger slowly towards it with her other hand. Uh-huh. And then she will stare at her finger and shake her head. Okay, so no, don't. Do to okay. I'm, I'm just not gonna touch the mirror. You know what we could do? Throw something into it. Hey, go fight the yeah. monster. Yeah, the hug picks up Scrumpa. No, no. It car nods. I'm, not just, me. I'm, I'm just, please. I'm just measuring with you, little buddy. Don't worry. I mean, if I die, we're all, you are all. Is there anything? Die. Is there no, anything you know um, around me? Around you? No. That I can pick up. No, no stones or anything. 
This place is immaculately clean. One moment. Hey, guy. Yeah, he is? I'd take the sake from his hand. I, I, I was drinking it. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I throw it at the mirror. All right. You throw the ink cup at the mirror and it dissipates into nothingness. The sake, however, spills all over the ground. <coughs> hmm. I bring out the scepter. And oh. I'm... Hmm, what would I say? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? That's it. That's the one. Is that what you say? Uh... Okay. Mirror, <laughs> reveal your secret? I'm going to go with that. The mirror reveals none of its secrets. Darn. I don't know what to tell the mirror. So are these walls? These? Yeah, these are walls. Yeah. Okay. They're How misted because there? they're... Well, through, you know, remember through... You walked up floating steps and walked through a door. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. So are there are these exits in these the are, These are doors. Yeah, these are doors. Oh, doors. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's okay. just hard to see because the walls are all misty and and uh, mm -hmm. mystical. I see, I see. Um, if you were to put pick a direction for us to go first, would you pick this way? And he gestures to his left. Well, that way. She shrugs. <laughs> Well, she's never been in either room. That's fair. That's fair. Let's just. I beckon. Like hold on. Let's I, go I, left. I, just one last, uh, one last thing. I want to check. I, I, I need to exhaust all my options. I motion for the, the brushstroke samurai to assist me again. Should I fall in? She, the brushstroke samurais will look at her and she will nod, and then they will. Hot, 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 hot. I'd like to touch the mirror with the actual scepter. Oakley dokley. As you touch the mirror with the scepter, the fog on the mirror begins to fade. And as it begins to fade, it will reveal what appears to be the very woman sitting on that mirror. But you see instead that she is, um, she's wearing tattered, torn clothing and is chained up against an ephemeral wall. You uh, all see that? Yeah, that's what the mirror um, reveals. Scropo, that... Scropo says, nice. Uh, it, do, is that the only thing we see in the mirror? There's nothing else. Can I... That's the only thing you see in the mirror is her so, chained so, to a wall. So we can see her chained up in that in that mirror. Yes. Are those chains, could we like detect those chains on this side? Because I assume this is a perfect reflection, but we're seeing what's actually happening on this side. Well, you uh, you see what's happening on this side. It doesn't seem the chains like directly linked to her like physically, or even like if you pretend that these were two different realms like that, but it does seem to represent her current state, yes. Mm. Can we see where the chains are linking to specifically? They go, uh, they go off to the sides here. East mm. and west. Well, I guess we should check the left side first. You think that's your best idea? Are these, are these mirrors fogged as well? No, those mirrors are clean. Okay. And clear. And they don't, they don't turn like none of them. Well, I guess I've only checked one. The mirrors mm. don't turn. Okay. Right. Not hey, without huh. breaking them. Yeah. Smash the mirror. Yeah. Uh, um. The scorpio steps back though. <laughs> give me, give me a minute here. And goes prone. And covers his head. Hey, uh, should I <laughs> smash those small mirrors? She will, kind of look appalled that you would do so. But doesn't really, give, but doesn't really give you an answer. Uh, will something bad happen if I do? She does not answer as she is unsure. Mm. Do it. Mm. <laughs> do it. Mm. it. It's either this or nothing, it seems. Mm. I'm examining very closely what happens when he smashes the mirror. 
Uh, I mean, are you sure this is what you want to try? Uh, not at all. No. It's very much no. so. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I'll flip a coin. Holding on. Uh... All right, one, I do it, two, I don't do it. I'll flip a gold piece. Hey, Huck, there's a door. Like right here in front of me. Listen, but we don't know what these <laughs> mirrors are about. But we don't to be know what's on. Smash door. it, smash it. Flip the coin, do it. There's a doorknob on it. Wait, do it. Why am I listening <laughs> do it. to Swapo? This is the do worst it. choice I've ever made. Remember when you almost killed you us? me one for blowing us all up. Do it. You blew me up too. <laughs> don't forget that. Uh, Listen, sure. your idea blew us all up. My idea could maybe save her. Let's try it out. My sake died for we this. We won't know what happens unless we try. Mm, he's right about that. I'll all smash right. it if you don't do it. All right, you do it then. All right, nice. Uh. Okay, here's my plan. I'm gonna cast Mage Hand. My Mage Hand's gonna blink into existence. Then I'm gonna give him my short sword. And then I'm gonna have it break the mirror for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your short sword oh. is carried by your mage hand. And which mirror are you breaking? This one. That one? Yeah. All right. Smash! Uh, Sackle cues his balls. The mirror is broken. Yeah, fuck you, mirror. All right. And then your I, car, your I car grabs a shard of glass. All right. Whatever the biggest one is. Okay. And kind of puts puts it away. All right. Uh, is there anything? It's just a regular mirror, as far as we can tell? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, seven years of bad luck for you. No, for my mage hand. <laughs> oh, that's true. You didn't technically do it. That's right. That's how karma works in the universe. Don't ever uh, forget that. Uh, are we doing a door? Yeah, let's go. Uh, all right, all right. Th They're thank you the for door. the drink. The only thing I wanted to examine... Uh, with the mirror at that, after that point, Arcadum, mm -hmm. did the, now that it's been defaced of any kind, is it being affected by, I guess, time? Because after the chandelier fell, I'm assuming that it got affected by the time. Well, as soon as the glass <laughs> hits the ground, you do see that a film of dust now covers the shards. Interesting. Quite. I'm going to go pee. All Continue, right. though. The car opens the damn door. All right, as you open the door, you can see a side room. And inside here, you see another big ass mirror. Well, we're probably going to want to touch that with the scepter. Let's do it. Hawk, I will want you to be near me. All right. what, are, what are these things? Fountain. This is fountain. Decorative oh, the fountain. Umbrella. Okay. The car kind of like sits on it because it's like reminds him of a bird bath. So he just sort of sits right there. You feel clear. All right. As you place the scepter against the mirror, I assume you're going to do that again. Yep. All right. As you place the scepter against the mirror, this is what you see. Karate Kid 2. <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> you see laughing Kai as he was when he was a man. A bronze-skinned, handsome devil slamming Whoa. the shit out of some iron on top of an oh, anvil. No. Iron, okay. <laughs> that was gonna be something else. <laughs> <laughs> he squeezes his hog. <laughs> My hog. <laughs> uh, all right. We're, we're building the law. But uh, this door goes up. Uh, question is this the, so this water looks clean, right? Yep. Clean water. Can I splash them out? All right, you splash them out and it evaporates. Hmm. Nice. That was real a dem great demonstration of, of chemistry there. Sublimation. Sublimation indeed. How much of this stuff is actually an illusion? Similar to the market. It is not. <clears throat> All, everything here is real, but there is definitely a thick film of magic that covers everything. Mm. 
I'm going to assume that we all go into the next room as a party. I bring Scumpro and Ronnie. Yes. Also, try touching the scepter to the baby mirrors. I touch it to this one. Okay. You see the Lord of Flowing Water seated on his throne, commanding his subjects. Does it look like the person that we saw ripping out the uh, Fox Lady's voice? Correct. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to put the staff to the smaller mirror. The mirror begins to glow strangely. And nothing else? Nothing else. Does it keep glowing? Does it keep glowing after he taps it? Yes. Tap the other two. Bink. All right. Bink. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Come back here. <laughs> when you tap this mirror, you teleport here, and the glows are gone. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Interesting. Uh, what is what is this here? Sorry if I missed it. A uh, scroll tapestry. It's just oh. art. Real quick, when I touch this one and then touch this one, I went from here to here. Correct. Oh, one moment. I tap this one. Hey. Where are He's you going? a scientist. This okay. one. What? I'm back. I'm back too. Hmm. Huh. Wait, oh. uh, uh, try, try it again. Uh, but this time, uh, Ikar follows Big Pipe and, like, puts a hand on his shoulder. Hey. Oh, okay. I tap this one. All right. <laughs> Go to the closest one. I'm going to snap. <laughs> I went, no, I'm going to hit this one now. So we both go back. Yep. Ah. Uh, I tap this thing. Because I think it's another mirror, right? It's not. It's a it's a scroll tapestry art. Ah, never mind then. But uh, might I don't... make a suggestion? What do you got? Tap one of the mirrors in the main hallway and just sort of leave it in case we need a hasty exit. You know, that's not a bad idea. I tap this one right here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to assume that we all go into the next room as a party. Yes. 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 Strolling. Oh. All right, you see what appears to be an art room complete with paintings, easels, colors, and a large golem covered in all sorts of paints and hues. But there is and Dracula's also, castle, sorry. <laughs> but there is also something else here. Something a little unnerving. Seated in front of the golem, you see these. Whoa. Nice. Hi. Four geisha-like women with painted features sit motionless. I'm just checking distance, that's all. I'm going to I'm gonna don't walk forward just yet. I'm gonna try and pick up this brush. Alright, you do? Hey, Huck. Here. Can you come stand by me real quick? Sure. Sort of clop on over. I take one step back with the paintbrush. And I'm going to catapult it at this one. Oh, my God. Scrub oh, pulls out. Okay. The time for mercy has passed. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
Hey, what happened to uh, Ronnie's token? I was dragging it with me. Uh, let me go find him. Ronnie! 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 He's lost in the mirror. I hope he's dead. I yeah. am a dog and I am right here. Well, he's gonna <laughs> die this combat again. Mm-hmm. Like every combat, he's useless. Stupid dog. Man. Okay, almost done. Just got to roll initiative and... So question, does attacking before combat start? Does that attack go through or does it only go through on my turn? It goes, it through. goes through. All right, so go ahead and roll it and roll damage. Boah. Ooh. That's a crit. Nice. Hell yeah. Literally uh, shot ooh. her in the face. <laughs> the paint headshot. I think it turns out these were the friendly D8? ones. I believe I believe catapults 3d8. Hold on. So it'd be 68. It'd be 68 because it was a crit. Mm hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. Crits are cool, man. Also, my initiative is five. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> you know. Okay, let me fix you real quick, Scrumpo. Is there something I can do to fix it permanently? Uh, I'm gonna try and do that right now for you. I'm trying to figure out why it won't save though, because I've fixed this like each time and it's just not... I bet it's because I've been putting it in the wrong thing. The wrong one? Yeah, I bet that's it. Hold on, let me see if it's got an individual... I guess there's not. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm. D that's what I'm doing <laughs> wrong. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, 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 yeah. So you you have how much? A plus two? Uh, yeah. So it's my deck bo deck bonus, which is three, and then plus two because of my background. Okay. I'm back. Welcome back. All right. Thanks you're, for you're set at fifteen. So let's roll this. No, it didn't save it. I'm not sure why it's. I no. saw I saw it appear as 15 briefly and then it went back. Yeah, I don't know why it's breaking. Uh, I have to figure that out later. But anyway, okay. So you did 20 damage to this one. Uh, to this one, yeah. Okay. The third one. Let me deal some damage. Ow. Okay. Oh, the time for mercy has passed. I am ready, baby. A song, battle ambiance. You got it. Uh oh. Let's rock and roll. Hey, car, you have advantage, or you have uh, initiative. Okay. So the damage dealt there was from the paintbrush that you threw? Yep. Yes. I headshot her with a paintbrush. Okay. Uh, I want to imagine the headbrush. It looked real like mean, right? Does it look like, do they have like a crazy look in their eyes? Is there a way we could maybe oh, they, calm them uh, down? They look like this now. They're they're coming for that ass. Uh -oh. Their uh, their faces kind of break and distort, like cracked porcelain. Well, all right. <laughs> well, all right. Well, all right. Uh, Icar moves over here and uh, casts bless. On oh, no. <gasps> it burns. Well, I don't. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Guy Huck and Scrumpo. Yes, it's time. K 
Okay. Anything else? No, that's it. All right. They will stand up from their prone position. They will all. Oh, they were, oh, they were prone. They were seated. Yeah. They will turn. And then they will lean forward and run at you at full speed. And they will disappear. <laughs> well, shit. As they disappear, you can see that there are painted footprints that begin to appear in all directions where they were. Dozens of them moving around and in all sorts of directions. Oh, no. Nani? Hi, hi. Oh, Baru, I saw you die to the invisible things in GTFO. Is this like that? <laughs> you should have experience. Yeah, with dude, them. just throw some glove sticks. All right. And uh, get, get your uh, get your movement sensor out. Let me see if I can um, actually provide some. God, man, my map tools is running so slow right now. Communication in battle is is free, right? Yes. Yes. Like if I want, if the car wanted to yell something at somebody, okay. <laughs> Just like Naruto. I'm sorry. People have been making Naruto references this whole time and it's driving <laughs> me crazy. I get yeah. It for them, Scrumpo. Scrumpo cast Mage Hand. Um, and then with my bonus action, because of my cunning feet, or action, I think it's called my class feature, I will have the Mage Hand, which should be popping into existence probably right about above me. Okay. I will have it float over here grab what I believe is a jar of paint. Right? That is paint. Yeah. Uh, and is it, does it have a cap on it? What is this? Describe this to me. It's, it's liquid paint. It doesn't have a cap on it. Okay. He's going to pick up the paint. Um, and yeah, probably flo float to about the end of the table. Yep. And then flick it outward. Hey. As you Just flick out, as you flick out the paint outwards like that to try and reveal them, as the paint flies through the air, it rapidly begins to age and dries out, becoming dust. Hmm. Scrumpo appears very angry at his mage hand, but has it continue floating there. And then he himself, um, can, we can pass through our teammates, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he himself shall move here. No, move here. And... Uh, I can't do anything else. That's my turn. Guy. 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 There's no mirrors in here, are there? But no. No, the there are not. The the broken shard of the mirror that he has. See if you can see anything. <laughs> I look into the mirror shard. That's not what I meant. Oh, uh, you're giving as, it to me? As you look into the mirror shard, you spot one of them. She's That's right there. what I meant. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you, you seem to be on to something. But maybe we should uh, retreat or... Just... Just tell us... Oh. What? Just tell us where they are. Use the mirror to tell us where they are. <laughs> I want to fight them. <laughs> you can do both. And yeah, use the mirror to see where I am, you stupid piece of shit, and he'll go invisible. <laughs> and then I'll I'll walk up here. Where did he go? So right? fucking invisible. Fight. Uh, so, 
Let me get this straight. You gave him the mirror piece. He could see them. He said he didn't give them to me. I tossed it to you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I tossed it to you and said, see what you can see. And he said, you can see them. I thought he was holding and I was looking in it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, you're holding Fix it. Fix your hair. <laughs> All right, you guys are on your own. <laughs> wow. Oh. I mean, that's just the way it happened. Hey, <laughs> uh, I asked you a question, by the way. Uh, real quick. Does it heavily influences my next turn? What's up? Uh, in Discord. Oh. So Guy does have the mirror piece, right? Now he does. Okay, just making sure. We could use my we could use my mage hand to hold up the thing. Okay. Well, I have no idea where Actually, they are. Actually, if I had a free item interaction, I could slide it like onto the ground so you guys. Well, could... I, I can literally have it float over there my, on my next turn and grab it from you. So. Why don't we go in the big room with the mirrors? <laughs> That's not a bad idea either. All right. Huck? Do you trust me? I mean, as most as much as I can. Do you really trust me? I'm sure. All right. Um. Wait, do I not have this? Oh no. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, was there a follow up to that? Uh, no. Okay, well, all right. <gasps> um, I'm going to back up. That's a good idea. Maybe gonna... to the room with the giant mirror in it. And then I'm going to back up again. All right, got it. Good, good. Huckleberry. All right. Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to back up as well, but I'm going to stand. <clears throat> I'm, you're blaming me, but this is how Scrumpo dies. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna rip me apart. <laughs> Wait. If only we had another bomb. No. How do I want to do this? Okay. Um. <clears throat> so picking up Scrumpo is an action, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, but then I still get the rest of my movement. Yes. Okay. All right, Scrumbo, you're coming with me. My I hero. I pick him up. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 5. <clears throat> so we're there. I like, I like wheel around and grab Scrumpo and pick him up and take him with me. Nice. Hey. Scrumpo is willingly taken. <laughs> I call Ronnie over to me for his turn. Oh, uh, uh b Bark? Bark. <coughs> Is Ronnie getting initiative, like in the... Yeah, he goes last. Oh, okay. Here, you should be able to see him on there now. Hey, Car. <clears throat> um... Car GTFOs. Scoop. Uh, and he's gonna cast spiritual weapon because he knows he's gonna need it. We're blessed, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Uh, concentrate. Like I can cast. Can I cast another spell you while can cast concentrating? Another, yeah, yeah. You just can't cast as long as it doesn't require concentration. Spell. Yep. Correct. Got it. I just can't All be right. another concentration spell. 
Pop that mug of questionable justice in there. And here's your mug of questionable justice. Meow. Meow. I'm done. All right. <clears throat> How wide is this doorway? Too wide. Too wide. Yep. Not not as in like excessively wide, but as in the number two <laughs> wide. Uh, We're blocking uh, it right now. As, okay. As in this. Okay. Scrumpo. Uh that's alarming. <laughs> um Scrumpo is going to stand right here. And actually, no, sorry. I'm going to move here and cast Mage Armor myself. And then my turn. <laughs> because it's so hard to see, I'm just going to draw the whole thing for you. It's like this. Wait, why do you use Mage Armor? Uh, because oh. I, 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 I technically didn't cast earlier in the session after our rest, so... Well, I mean, in general, should you not be able to wear medium armor as a rogue? Well, uh, yeah, but he's role-playing because wear, he wears the diaper and not actually any ah, armor. Ah, <laughs> I, okay. Um, Makes a lot of sense, actually. And for my bonus action, Scrumpo's just going to attempt to hide, even though he doesn't. he's not really sure what the dealio is right now. He's going to put his back up against the wall. Okay. Scoop! Scoop! Guy. Yeah. Have I heard or seen the easel guys do anything? You hear footsteps running all around you. But not going towards them. Oh yeah, they're getting closer. And you, you do have the mirror. Oh, I look in the mirror and see if I can see any in this general area. I'm doing some measuring. Does anyone have fairy fire? Nope. Damn it. I have colors Here's for there. And my turn. Big pipe. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Question. Mm hmm. What's the lighting situation in this room? Uh, it is well lit. So I'm going, so then the, I'm just trying to ask is like, the things that are running around are not projecting any kind of shadow either. They are not. Okay. All they are projecting are painted footprints going around in all directions. Hmm. Taking a quick look through my scroll, through my uh, spell book here, and uh, let's see. <clears throat> and we don't have uh, third level spells yet, do we? No, 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 no. That's next level. Negative. All right, then. Hmm. Apparently, I shoot a web at everything, so I'm gonna shoot a web. Boo. <laughs> 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 I don't know where Stir is, so I'm I, I, I'm gonna just play. I don't know where he is, so I'm throwing it right here. Okay. He might be in that. He might not. So that that's where I'm shooting it. Dexterity saving throw, Stir. Unfortunate. Okay. All right. What's my DC here? 14? Okay. Okay. Unless you got movement or anything. Anything else? Mm. Nope. Got nothing. Okay. <laughs> Huckleberry. I like that. 
I'll move to like right here, but that's about it. Okay, so <laughs> if I move, so I'm I'm right in near the door frame, correct? Yep. Right here. Okay. So if I move here and I look about into the room, I don't see anything, correct? You don't. That's where any of the mirrors at. Yeah. Um. Okay. In that case, I'll use my movement to move here. And if oh. I look, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna turn this mirror. I can't be I turned. Mean, we oh. can't. They can't be turned. So I was gonna look oh, in okay. this one and see if I could see the reflection. Gotcha. Behind. So like, look this way. Well, if you look over there, you don't see it. But it's looking here. Oh, this this mirror is not fogged like the other one. No, nope, it's been touched with the scepter. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 And as you okay. look in that one, you see this. Oh, great. Um. Okay. So. Well, where are they? I didn't know I could see that. Okay. Wait. Hang on. In that case, I don't quite want to move that far. I'll move here instead of over there. Okay. Uh, and I guess I'm gonna have to look in that mirror and wait for them to come through the door. You got it. Ronnie, bark. I send Ronnie, I, I point and I say, sit. <laughs> Cute. Hey, car. Um, all right. So looking in that mirror. Let's think here. And sorry, this is this is an opening of the door or or the door is this wide? The, these two are openings. Places they so can the move through. So the door is open from here all the way to here. No, no here no, no, no. and here. This, this is wall this, right here. Oh, I understand. I understand. They can move through this and they can move through that. All right. Uh The car is going to cast guiding bolt at Easel Concubine 3. Okay. Show me what you got, champ. That's a lot of champion. Mmm. That's precisely how much HP she had. Here we go. <laughs> oh, she's dead. Well done. Okay. Uh. <laughs> can the mug of justice ready in action? I guess probably not. It cannot. Um, but you can move it there. Yeah, I will go ahead and move it there. Just just to be a dick. Um, and a car will move. And, uh, you know, go back on the bird bath. Yeah. Still looking this way. All right. one appears as it attacks oh. Huckleberry with advantage. Oh. Looks like only one hit uh, for a total on, of eight damage. On the first miss, can I rip a Zeddy? Yep. Okay. Uh, this. That'll work. Nice. Hey, uh, oh, maybe this is too late. Guy, did you add four to your saving throw? Because you had four. Or one uh, I, to add to your saving I did not. Throw. Bless. Too late now. I haven't even made an action yet. It hasn't oh, you were well. That's the thing. Just roll your d4. He wouldn't have made it. Well, yeah, he would have to roll a four anyway. What'd you roll in your save before, Stir? He rolled a 10. Okay. All right, so that's a total of uh, 11 damage. Yeah, to the, the concubine. Mm-hmm. Hogley Dokley. Scrumpo. Oh, and I take so I can see that bitch right now? Uh, on your, okay, so this is how this works with the mirrors. 
On your turn, you can actively look to reveal their position and you can attack and interact with them normally. I was just wondering if, if she would like have revealed herself somehow. Uh, the, the one My that attack. attacked, yes, did reveal themselves. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Scrumpo combat rolls across the way and then throws his back up against the, the mirror. <clears throat> and with this short bow in hand and attempting a bonus action stealth check first, uh, will fire at this lady. Beep. All right, that's a hit. Roll some sneak attack for me. Uh, for a total of 12 damage. Guy. Hey, what's this web doing to me? You are restrained. It Dex save? Uh, to uh, get, yeah, it's, to get it's out a dex is save a at the beginning of your turn. Dexterity saving throw. Uh, you are restrained as long as you remain in the web or until you break. If you are restrained, you have to make a strength check against the spell save DC to break free. Oh, Which is DC check. 14, yep. To, to break I'm free, you use that you... roll, and it was a four. Okay. So I'll just hang out. I mean, you can still do stuff, you just can't move. Yeah, I'm gonna stay invisible. Okay, yeah. Big fight. All right. I am going to quickly face the mirror. If I knew how to change my position, facing. Oh, so she's right next to me already. Yeah, that's because you looked at the mirror so you could see her. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, God. The other one's right here. Interesting. Well then, let's see. Uh... <laughs> hey. I'm going to shoot a color spray behind me. Okay. Which I think is three, no, 60, 10. Thirty. And I guess I'm gonna cone it like this. Color spray is 15 feet, so that's all. The only that's the only person you can hit. Darn, unfortunate. And that is a not sufficient amount to roll uh, for hit point wise to affect her. Yeah, I figured that. Well then. Hey. I cry a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Sweet I, salty tears. I guess I'll just bend over. Yep. <laughs> Feels bad, man. All right, Huckleberry. All right, I'm going to strike this uh, concubine that I already hit. Uh, let's see what we get. Show me your moves. That's Ooh. pretty good. 16 damage. Holy shit, I'm dead. <laughs> Take that. And I get the I get to make the loud butt attack versus the other one. Uh, with my bonus action. Oh no. That misses. Nah, no, raspberries. <laughs> uh, okay, well. <laughs> Oops. Uh, well, I got one. Well. Good job. There's two left. There's one right behind me. <laughs> Hell. That's terrifying. I want to clinch. Bark. <laughs> Icar. Icar looks in the mirror. All right, as you look in the mirror. Help me. Um, yeah, Ikar is going to cast Guiding Bolt again at Easel Concubine number four. All right. Ghost Town population, this guy. Ow. Uh, the Mug of Justice's movement is 
reach it. Twenty. So Mug of Justice is going down to this one because it can't reach the other one. And going for it. Going for it. That's a lot of justice. God, that's a big damage roll. That's a, that's Ikari, a nice Ikari is shitting damage out right damage. now. Sometimes I feel like that cup is stronger than me. <laughs> <laughs> the cup has done more than you. Oh shit. Uh, Ikar is done. All right. Iso Concubine 4 will reveal herself as she attacks Big Pipe right in his big butt. Hey, nobody webbed the, the cup. And Stippity <laughs> Stab with advantage. <laughs> All right, that looks like only one hit for a total of 11 damage to Big Pipe. Ow. This hurts. This one will stab at Huckleberry with advantage, revealing herself. Uh. Only one hit. Yeah, one hit for eight damage. Uh, let's see for another eight. Um, oh, did you did you do the damage? Yeah, I did already. Uh, I'll rip a Zeddy again. Why not? Let's do it. All right, you got it. Uh, when she revealed, it's not a disadvantage because she revealed herself. Sagan? Is it or is it? Is is it a disadvantage or not a disadvantage? It is not a disadvantage. She has to reveal herself okay. when she attacks. Got it, got it, okay. Uh that um, is a that is a miss. 17? Yeah, Whoa. 17 misses. Holy crap. Okay, never mind. Alright, that's another. Did you add bless? Yeah, okay. You got it already. Oh yeah. you wow. oh with bless, that's 21. Okay, never mind. That's yeah. a hit. Oh, Bye bad. Okay. Go ahead. No, that's that's Roll your 18 deal. damage plus so 18 plus 2, so 20 damage. <laughs> uh, ow. Scrumpo! What kind of action is pulling out wild weapons? That's an that's an item interaction. Okay. So use object? Yep. Right. Yep. Um okay. No point in doing that then. I am going to shoot. Well, actually, bonus action, uh, self again. And we're going to assume that I rolled that after moving slightly. <laughs> Seeing as I have shot and already revealed myself, Stripple waddles to the other side of the mirror, hunkers down and shoots at this man's right here. Beep, beep, beep. Show me your arrows. Show me your moves. May God bring... guide my arrow. You have advantage? Oh. Pew. Which will miss. Uh, wait, miss. Add bless. Yeah. Oh fuck, bless! I keep forgetting to add bless. <laughs> All right, All right. Uh, seven, seventeen damage. Hey, you Pew. guys want to see a cool, tr a cool trick? I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice trick. Scorpio spits on the ground after the the creature falls to the ground and says to himself, "Fucking bitch." <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> Meanwhile, Guy. Guy makes a dexterity saving throw. Uh -huh. Aha! Succeeds. I'm free now. Uh. I'm free to figure out. You still lose move. movement for walk for getting out of it, though. I think. Chad, I don't think uh, dexterity is actually like, what frees him. Oh, so then this but would I'm just be gonna 10. let him have it. Yeah, so that's ten just to get out of it. And then I would get yes, to Yes, I know it's a strength. It's whatever. <laughs> I am <have> my turn. <laughs> Big pipe. Oh. All right, so I can see her now. I don't need to look at the mirror, correct? Correct. He's revealed. All right. I am going to face. Do I have disadvantage for casting spells at point blank? Advantage? No, you have disadvantage. So I was gonna say no. Yeah, do I have disadvantage for for ranged um, attacks? Yeah, I'm ranged. Uh, look. If you have anything. Oh shit! Actually, fuck! I fucked up. I fucked something up. 
What'd you uh, fuck up? I'm reverting guys. Oh, movement. actually dead. Oh. Uh, well, make we me fucked a concentration up. check for me, big pipe. Concentration. Oh, Cause right. Cause I, I forgot you. what was a concentration spell. In so did I. Also, last turn I could have strength checked as well as the deck save, and I didn't know that. Uh. How do I do a concentration check? It's just con save? I think so. Yeah. I forget. Okay. Right, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not there. So, Web's You're not free. there, so you have a full turn, guy. You uh, can really, now. That changes a lot. I actually don't think it changes anything. <laughs> can oh, I see her from more... here? Uh, You can see her from there, and I think you have the movement for it. Uh, no, I'm going to... I need my turn here. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make things right. That's all. Go ahead, big pipe. Uh, you know. Um, question. Chill touch. Is that still disadvantage? I know it has a range of 120 feet, but can I like actually just touch with chill touch? <laughs> chill touch, touch is a ranged spell attack. You can't convert it to one just because you're in range. It used Darn. to be melee the, in other editions. Yes, it did. The term touch does not mean that it actually is melee. And the term chill does not mean that it's cold. Yes. Or believe cool. Me. Believe me. It's just super relaxed. It's a nope. fucking nope. ridiculous spell. It's a chill touch. Then I will... I'm going to disengage. Get to scoop. And hide behind Hug. Save me, heart. Huckleberry. All right. All right. I got that. He sort of like gets big iron ready. He's like, or loud iron ready. He's like, all right, fine. Do it again. Walks over, uh, slaps her around a bit with loud iron. Uh, that is going to be That's not a bit. We call that a dead. All right. Eat a all right, all the Esau concubines lay uh, in bloodied masses on the ground. Upon further inspection, now that no longer the, uh, the, the call of combat distracts you, you notice that they are not people. They appear to be mannequin dolls filled with a juice of some kind. Ooh. It appears that they are filled with wine. Uh, Ikari scoops some of that shit up in the Mug of Justice. Now, let me hold on a minute there. Before I wouldn't drink that. I'm yeah, not going to drink it. I just wanted to hold it. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. Let me. Can I hold it? I pass him the mug of justice. Scrumpa okay. gropes Feels this nice. dead mannequin. I, pa I pass the, the mug back. Nice mug. Feels good. Uh, good hand feel. When you say grope, do you mean loot or do yeah, you mean that you are. He touches her boobies. Okay. <laughs> All right. You hear a guy from around the corner. Take that, you cur! Oh. I'm sorry I'm late, everyone. There were five more. Whoa, whoa, you handled them all by yourself? Oh, wow, wow, really? Yes, I sent them back through the mirror. Really wow. great job. Also, he loots, he, he, Scrumpo loots this one, too. Scrumpo, what, what you shut up! What are I'm you going to do this one. Look at me. Have some respect. It's International Women Day. I don't respect women, especially demonic women. Anyway, um, upon further inspection, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> you were able to uncover uh, that each of them hold a hand, <clears throat> a hand fan. Wow. Scrubbo seals it. Okay. And puts it in his pack. Mine now. You're in his dead. diaper. Is it special in any way, or is it an just Arcana a regular? Check. Oh. Scrumpo does an Arcana check. He just takes it. I Arcana check it. Yeah. Fuck. Give me guidance. Uh, guidance. Guide him. Where? where right there. Uh, Icar uh, just kind of taps the mug against him and gives I'm, him guidance. I'm guided. Mm. For 15. A 15 reveals that these fans are magical. They are, a, they are a consumable item that, if waved, grants the user flight for one minute. Ooh. Nice. Interest. And we got four of them? We have four fans of flying. Yeah, write Convenient. that down. Hey, good good takes all of can't them. fly. I, I pocket one of them. 
I just like imagine like we're falling and you just wave. You're like, oh, I can't deal with this right now. And you just start flying back away. Yeah, sort of like fanning yourself off. Like, huh. Ikar, Ikar checks the wine that he scooped up. Drink it, pussy. It, uh, uh, as a medical professional, no. Your training tells you, do not drink that. <laughs> Ikar, Ikar pour, pours one out for his homies and then uh, gets rid of the mug of justice. All right. This is very strange. The ones I killed evaporated. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Stuck around. And not even a scratch on you. That's amazing. Quite impressive, really. Yeah, nice. it's not like webbing you on your feet. Pound it into the dirt every fight, Scrumpo. <laughs> I know how to dodge. <laughs> Look, it was just unlucky, all right? He surprised me. Guy, why are your feet covered in webs? You made the fight hard for me, but not hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A being of, of true grace. Uh, Huck, Huck, takes, Huck takes his hat off and sort of holds it to his chest. He's like, I'm honored to fight by such a brave and selfless warrior as yourself, guy. I say nothing and adjust my crown. <laughs> such a dick. A, a man of few words. I like that. Say Puts nothing. Back on. Adjust my circlet. <laughs> hey. I forgot what I was going to say. Let's continue. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the adrenaline's pumping right now. All right. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm all over the place. Should we check uh, out the big, large monster in the center of the room? If by check good. out, you mean shoot with an arrow. Yes, I did not have time to fight that during my uh, scuffle. All right, as you approach the uh, large, multi-hued golem, you can see that it is a statue that has been carefully and meticulously inlaid with uh, jeweled stone. So the hues that you're seeing are actually different gemstones Whoa. that are carefully... Uh, how can I describe this? Do you guys Have you guys ever seen sand art where somebody puts, like, yeah. Yeah. colored sand yeah, yeah, yeah. in a jar? It's like that... Mm -hmm. But with gems. Oh. This shit's bedazzled. I hold up. Actually, wait. I blow on the lantern. Nothing happens. Oh, shit. Oh. Where's the lantern, boy? I blow again. Nothing happens. Is he out still? Yes. You we never, never put him, him back? back. He's oh, standing there God. still. You never <laughs> sent him back. He's still standing there. <laughs> Wait one moment. You idiots. Yeah, we're not going to wait for him. I tap this mirror. Okay. Which should take me back to <laughs> this one. Yeah. Oh, I brought the concubines with me. Yeah, maybe Whoops. not. <laughs> Just drop them in the fountain. Hey, man. Greetings, my lord. Do you not, like, follow us at all? Or do you just stand exactly where you're summoned? I stand where I am summoned, unless I am commanded to go elsewhere. This is awkward, because we just tried to summon you, and then we for we completely forgot we already did it, and didn't send you back to the lantern. I take no offense, my lord. Call him a bitch! <laughs> anyway, back to the lantern. Upon leaving, I will uh, wave to the bound brush and I'll say, uh, we killed the concubines. I don't know if they're with you. She will hold her hand up to her, to her face as horror etches through her eyes. She steps a little bit away, worried you might do the same to her. <laughs> if Scrumpo was there, he would say, we w you're next. <laughs> we're not. We're, were they with you? She nods. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they tried to kill us. She begins to weep softly into her hands. <laughs> Do you fuck up Scrumpo's chance to get laid? What is this shit? He's gonna be a virgin forever now. 
This is this awkward silence. I'm just still just kind of. <laughs> I'm still just standing here. Just... She is saddened by the death of the concubines. Oh no. <sighs> Hit the dab and peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, they did try and kill us after I headshot one of them. <laughs> I didn't mention that she part. She doesn't know any better. Listen, they tried to attack us, okay? Um. So are these paintings with the blue covers, or are those like... Those are unfinished paintings, and there are various oh, there things. Are... Okay, okay, so do you guys want the good news or the bad news? Oh, well, bad, bad news, news first. Okay, the bad news is is that the concubines were with the, the lady we spoke to. No! What? My sex! She's very sad that they're dead. <laughs> no! <laughs> My sex! Oh, <laughs> I'm what does that have to do with us? Now. God damn it! It's okay. I told them that they were coming right at us, and we had to defend ourselves. Oh, nice save! All right, there's still a chance then. Wait, where are you? Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, over, you are. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm hiding behind this table because I'm scared. No one else might be in here. <laughs> Scrubo, Scrubo, Scrubo is sitting with his back to this table right now, kind of like huddled around the corner, like peering out from us uh, from behind the table or whatever yeah but anyway don't pay any attention to me hiding like a coward pipe did you retap a mirror on your exit or yes okay retapped it after yes hmm Bark. these stairs go down <laughs> yes they do these stairs go downwards now i'm wondering if they were there to protect this giant monster or they were trying to i don't know i feel Maybe. like they may have helped us if i hadn't thrown a paintbrush at them a distinct possibility yeah well we'll Listen, never know they now, look, will we i she think said they... this place was dangerous there was creepy ladies i took the first action that seemed logical i, I think they were praying i would have shot them too don't worry don't let them <laughs> shame you they were Wait. sitting down. Don't let them violate. It shame doesn't you. matter. Look, did you see their face? It looked like someone had carved into their faces, right? They're clearly like weird aberrations. They deserve to die. Big Tree, you're doing a good work by attacking them first. Have Picard you seen Big Tree's face? <laughs> what was that, Joe? He, uh, Card looks down the stairs. Uh, as you look down the stairs, you can see beautiful flowing waters at the end. It's wet. What about hey, what this nice. thing? What are these paintings? Yeah, the let's pa take a look. The paintings are of various things. Uh, they are of high... No, specifically these that are... Uh, this one, specifically... Uh, both of these paintings appear to be uh, paintings of landscapes in Dalton. Lame. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> yeah, but there's I bet there's a horse somewhere in it too. What's the grinning the grinning gambler's off the coast of Dalton. Oh wait, not no. so would Scrumpo if he were to see that recognize that? At their Daltonian paintings or paintings of the landscape? The, the, Dal Dalton? the Daltonian landscape paintings. Yep. Because the grinning gambler's off the coast and he may not have actually gone to mainland Dalton. But oh, you curious. would still be able to see the landscape from the from the grinning gambler, so yeah, you definitely recognize it. Okay, Scrumpo's still hiding, though. I was just asking for the future. <laughs> yeah. Anything out of the ordinary about either of these two paintings? Are they just really good paintings? Or are they shitty paintings? They are good. They are high-quality paintings, but there is nothing uh, out of the ordinary about them. If I take the painting off the easel, does it deteriorate? Do you do so? Yes. I mean, why stop now? <laughs> I've been I've been seeing if, like everything else has been evaporating so now I have to see does this also evaporate yes it does it doesn't evaporate it just rapidly ages and the colors fade and all of that you want to try that there shifter on the big ugly over here I guess I could I I pull out the scepter and I tap the golem. 
Ronnie might want to stand back. Nothing happens. No. Oh. Uh. What's it holding? It's made out of gems, right? But what's in its hand? Ah, there's the question. It is holding in its hand what appears to be a golden staff. It seems to have a notch at the end where one might place the scepter. Stick it in! I Thrust stick it in! Thrust it! Only. All right, as you place the scepter atop the staff and lock it into place, the, the golem drops it onto the ground, and now the staff is complete. You now have the inheritor's staff. I walk back forward. Whoa. Well, I'm not carrying it. I pick up the inheritor's staff. How big is this thing? Is it like, is it like a quarter staff size? It's quarter staff size, yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. What is the, is does the inheritor staff do anything different, Mr. DM? The inheritor staff uh, most certainly is infused with additional magical power, but you have yet to unlock its hidden abilities. I blow on the lantern. That's exactly what I... <laughs> Greetings, my lords. Ah, it seems that you have completed the next piece of the scepter. The staff yeah. has returned to your hands. So what is different about it? It's the, longer. The magics within the staff, they hold the power of the inheritors and as such can enhance the magical capabilities of those that wield them. Magic capabilities enhancement. Indeed. However, it will take quite a practiced hand to call them forth. If you practice too much, you'll go blind. Hmm. <laughs> how would I? How would I attempt to call them forward? Stroke it. You must become more powerful, my lord. Level up. <laughs> oh, oh, Scrumpo is able to do that real easy just by sleeping. He, just, he flexes his muscles when he yeah. sleeps. No, it's it's very intense muscle training that I have perfected. It's a technique that my family has used for centuries. Yeah, but but Lantern Lighter, this is a level four zone. Why did a level nine item drop? <laughs> Anyway, it, it, <laughs> you can no longer equip this item. <laughs> oh my god. It drops to the ground. <laughs> I can't use that yet. I can't equip that. <laughs> Back in the lantern. <laughs> Get over her face, idiot. <laughs> I told that guy. <laughs> yes, but what were you going to tell me? That I like you. I oh. think you're very nice. Wow. I think you're quite something yourself, Just Grumpo. kidding. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Loser. Hey, hey, Scrumpo. Don't talk to me. No, listen. Listen to me, Scrumpo. Me and you have to stick together. These other guys like the dog more than us. If we don't I think have the each dog other. Is only good as food. Yeah, see, we agree. Well, you would, do you even eat food? Yes, I was drinking my sake and he threw it at the mirror and I... Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, anyway, hey, Ronnie, listen, we're going to eat you when times get hard. Bark. Yeah, and if you can understand me right now, I want you to know that I'm going to enjoy lick, every second. Stop lick, lick, licking lick, lick, me, lick. stop it. Lick, lick, lick. I hate you. Lick, 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 lick. You represent everything that's innocent in the world. Ronnie follows a big pipe. <laughs> Come on, Huck. These stairs go down. These stairs go down. These stairs go <laughs> downward, Desgarazzi. Uh, Huck will Huck will go up to the stairs, but like, sort of, walk back and forth, like trying to figure out how to walk down. <laughs> and and do like, it sideways. Uh, uh, okay. He'll like turn to the side and like one one hoof, and then like bring it back up. Have you like, never gone downstairs before? I've 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 seen plenty of stairs. 
Uh-huh, just like books. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, Huck side wave crab walks his way down the stairs. All right. You have successfully completed the first floor of the Pyramid of the Lord of Flowing Water. However, I believe we are coming up on time. So that is where I will call this session. Wonderful. Good job, Yay. everybody. Yay. Nice work. That was a good session. You guys have a good a lot, time? Yeah, lots yeah. more titties this time. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Yeah, same. That's why I played D&D is for virtual titties. <laughs> okay. I swear to God, every time I drop a female character, boo, boobs, touch her! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, titty! Look, my character Scrumbo has a very intricate backstory and is <laughs> definite, there's definite e excuse for him to react that way. I, know, to I wasn't him. talking about you guys. He, Chaz. He's, an, he's an incel. People keep making all these wow, references. That was intricate. Like only fans <laughs> account of like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Yeah, but I mean, look, Scrumbo has no genitals and his butthole was sewn shut. So How he, does he poop? <laughs> from his mouth. Yeah. Yes, actually. <laughs> How did you know? But anyway, uh... Is that what he's doing when he talks about elves? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, uh... You guys like the campaign so far, though? Yeah, it's yeah. super fun. Yeah. Because this yeah, was, uh, episode seven. Really? We've been oh, playing... It's, been... it's been seven weeks. Wow. <laughs> Time flies. Crazy. Yeah, I want to guess like five. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save. Uh, is everybody good for the 15th? Oh, man. Wow. Let me look. I, I should be good for the 15th, although I may be a little distracted because that's when my mom has her surgery. Mm -hmm. Best of luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Luck. Yeah. Thanks. Oh man, I'm I'm good for the fifteenth, but may not be for the twenty second. So I'll I'll let you know. Okay. Thanks. Why not? I'll be Why a tri enemy not? convention doing convention stuff. You're going to a convention when the coronavirus is killing literally everyone. You only live once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah not for much longer. Bio Elo, dude. Yeah. <laughs> not for much longer. <laughs> I guess I guess if you're going to an anime convention, the odds that someone there will have the coronavirus is small because weeaboos don't even all, leave their house. Yeah, we don't leave our houses. It's fine. Boom. Well, no, but also they don't wash their hands or their bodies oh, it's, it's or gonna their be hair. It's very much a fist bump only kind of signing. So you just might, go in a hazmat suit. Fist bump. You yeah, there may not be any fist touchies. bumps. It may be like a you know, distance high five kind of thing. No, you need yeah. to verbally fist bump them. Just say fist bump to the at a distance of six yeah. feet. <laughs> As recommended by the Surgeon General. That for like baseball games, and we'll use that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for playing, guys. I'll see you guys next week. It was a lot of fun. I Bye. actually get extra experience for killing five, by the way. Agree. What? You heard me. You said extra experience for killing what? For killing five. Yeah, he killed five. Oh, five of those. Right. Those... Right. Right, yes. Uh, I'll get right on that. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Okay. Oh, man. I actually, I'm, I feel pretty tired. Jeez. I don't know why I feel so tired. Whew. But uh, I hope you guys had a good, a good stream. Um, or I hope you guys enjoyed.